Hey everybody, welcome to another live stream. Today, we have three different cases to do for you. We've got 2017 Bowman High Tech, which we will be starting with tonight. We also have a case of 2020 Select. And we also have a case of 2019 Panini Prism draft picks. So some good stuff tonight. I hope you guys... Uh, are having a great Wednesday, and we're going to get this show on the road. You can see that High Tech is up first, and here are our participants. We have Justin W. We've got Carl K. and Daddy Daughter is here. Welcome, Daddy Daughter. And Daddy Daughter has been added as a new moderator to the channel. So, Daddy Daughter, thank you so much for your help tonight. And... Um, Heather is not here yet, Blacktooth. She's running a little bit late, but she'll be here eventually. Um, Justin, you're up first. Best of luck to you. Uh, we did have a couple of folks not pay their invoices. Actually, four folks not pay their invoices. So we will take care of uh, what we have here. Looks like Kid Wonder Cards. Thank you very much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. Um, Kid Wonder Cards says, good luck, everybody. I do believe that Kid Wonder Cards is in this break later, so if you guys could check out Kid Wonder Cards and give them support, I would much appreciate it. So here we go. Justin W., let's see what we can find for you. Caden says, how are you today? Excited for the break? Uh, having a great day. Went uh, on a hike today down in West Virginia and also found a new product on the shelves. It was a Fairfield product, which we opened up. Let's check this out uh, inside each one of these. By the way, we haven't opened these yet. There's four on-card autographs per box. So you're going to see a lot of autographs. There's 10 cards per pack and also four on-card autographs. Let's check this out. Uh, so this one will be kind of quick. Uh, Justin, let's see what we can find for you. I really like the design of high tech, Bowman high tech. So we start things off. Chip says these look awesome. Yes, I agree with you there, Chip. These are very, very nice cards. We start off with a Clint Frazier back when he was with the um, New York Yankees. Then we have Kevin Maiton, who was a top prospect with the Atlanta Braves back in the day. I think he had to, he was forced to be released because they were kind of um, juking the international signing system. And uh, he's now, I think, in the Angel system. But a very nice 1992 Bowman design. And we have our first autograph, and it is a good one. Luis Castillo autograph for Justin very, very nice. Luis Castillo, of course, I think is going to win a Cy Young at some point in his career. Let's take it out and look at it. It's kind of hard to see because they are all kind of transparent. You see, this is what the card looks like. Nice on-card auto of Luis Castillo. We're going to get this sleeved up and top loaded right away. Justin, congratulations on that one. Clint's still on the Yankees. Sorry if I got messed up. Um... He's still on the Yankees. I am um, trying to do three things at once today without my right-hand um, assistant. Heather's not yet here, but she is in route. Luis Castillo is the first one for Justin. Let's see who we have next. I do see a redemption in there coming up. Your second card is going to be, looks like John called it. It is a Seth Newcomb. Seth Newcomb, Todd says that doesn't uh, top the Gavin Lux auto. No, that Gavin Lux auto from that mystery box was a good one. Seth Newcomb is hit number two. A nice one right there for Justin. So there's four autographs. I do see one of them is going to be a redemption. So that's probably going to be after this one. Our third autograph is going to be... Uh, now, we're going to probably need some help on this one from um, a mess of things. It's a Lazarito Armenteros autograph. Don't know much about him. I don't know if he's still around or made the big leagues or not. And now the redemption. Hopefully, it's probably, I don't know, it may or may not be expired. We shall see. And Devastation Z says, Hey, Jabs, love the channel. My Instagram is Ace Baseball Cards. I buy, sell, and collect baseball cards. Keep up. The good work. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys will check out Devastations on 
Um, the Instagram, it's ace.baseballcards over there. Go ahead and check him out and add him and give him a follow. Thank you very much. I really appreciate the support. Um, let's see what we have now. This one is likely going to be expired. It's a Brendan Rogers is the last one right there. Brendan Rogers. Let's check out the other ones here. We have a Francisco Mejia now. He's over on the Padres. We have a wow, well, they gave us a bonus autograph. I thought we were done there, but we have a fifth autograph. Very nice. It is a Corey Ray. Corey Ray is the auto. And this also likely is numbered. Um, at least I, maybe it is. I thought maybe it'd be numbered because it is numbered. It's 21 to 25. Kind of tough to see there just because it is orange. So a fifth hit for Justin. And you also have Austin Meadows and Francisco Mejia as well. Very nice stuff right there. We'll get these sleeved up and moving on to the next box. My favorite card there, obviously, is going to be the beautiful autograph of Luis Castillo. All right, next up, uh, Carl, you're on deck. Let's see what we can find for you. I'm just trying to make sure I get all of Justin's stuff top-loaded for him. Carl K, come up to bat right now. Move this off. I'll put the, all these aside for my assistant when she arrives. Next box up, it's Bowman High Tech box number two. Todd says, Jabs, I bought several Tyler Glass now rookie cards today. Well, um, you have the right idea. Tyler Glass now is the man for sure. And um, I would suggest everyone pick up his rookie cards. I think he's going to win several Cy Young Awards. Maybe that's a little bit much. Uh, he's at least going to win one Cy Young Award in his career, I would imagine. I love the guy. Anyway, box number two. Let's not keep Carl waiting too long. Our first box had five hits in it. Five autographs, which is very, very nice. Justin says, hey, the 2020 Fairfield that you posted, I missed a pack that was in box number three. Justin, thank you very much. Was It, it was probably one of those, um, um, oh, what was it? The uh, top card, or top pack, the Gypsy Queen. I'll go back and pull that out and send that to uh, Brandon. You have to let me know what you think of that mystery, not mystery, but uh, new release. I went to Target today. Actually, I was in search of top loaders for tonight's break. And I noticed some new stuff on the show. So I was like, is that 2016 Heritage? What's that big yellow box? And it was a brand new release. So kind of surprised about that. Pretty cool. All right. So, Carl, you've got box number two. Let's see who we can find for you. We start off with a Junior Fernandez card. Very nice. And 357 Magus here says, Eric is a true legend. Thoughts about a season this year as far as number of games or playoffs? 357 Maga, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I'll tell you what, the MLB Players Association just came out with a proposal today uh, that got nixed by the owners. They proposed 114 games season. Lucius Fox from the race is the next one. They proposed a 114 game season, and uh, the owners shot it down. And uh, said so they're not going to have a response to that. So here's Yadier Alvarez. It would be really cool if that was a Jordan Alvarez in 2017. I don't think he's in 2017. Of course, Jordan Alvarez used to be on the Dodgers. So um, when I saw Alvarez on the list, I was kind of looking at it real quick. And I had to do a double take when I was looking at the rookie card checklist. I was like, wait, Yadier Alvarez? And I actually looked him up to make sure that uh, Jordan didn't start going by Jordan. Um, Yadier Alvarez is the first autograph for Carl. Next auto from the box, we have an Adrian Morjohn from the Padres, and that is numbered out of 199. 12 of 199. Adrian Morjohn is hit number two for Carl. Yeah, the Dodgers definitely probably would want to redo that trade if they could. Hit number four, this is a name you guys all know. And uh, if you bought cards from 2019, you've seen this card quite a lot. It's Justice Sheffield autograph. Of course, Justice Sheffield is, I feel like every single series of tops last year had his rookie card in it. Nice young pitcher there. Congrats on that one there in the Yankees uniform. Justice Sheffield, hit number three. Hit number four. Four autographs. I do see another autograph. This one is going to be an Anderson Espinosa as well. Tyler, I still have four boxes from folks that didn't pay their spots. That's 20 of 99. Um, 
I'm just going to keep the boxes unless any of you guys want them or if those folks would like to pay. Um, I don't want to put their names out there right now, but they know who they are if they're watching. You can get your payment in. We'll get you on the on the uh, in green. There's a nice numbered out of 99 Glaber Torres. Glaber, I would love to find his autograph in this. Glaber Torres out of 99. Let's check out the rest of the cards in here for Carl. We had five autographs in the other one. So we have Alex Kirillov. Very nice one. Top prospect with the twins and two Alex Kirillovs. Um, not sure what the difference is. We'll take a look at that. A nice Aussie Albies card. Um, I'm... I guess there is a slight difference. As you can see, there's a design here. I don't see any numbering on either of these, but still kind of cool. Alex Kurloff, that's going to be a good one. All the Twinkie fans know about him for sure. So box number two is in the books. Carl, thank you very much. Dylan, sorry about that. And Dylan says, Eric, I'm not trying to spam. If you get the $3 tier, what type of videos do you get to watch? You get one per month on average. Sometimes I might open up and send, let you see a couple extra ones. Um, but you get access to the breaks. That's the main thing on the $3 tier. Ac break access is what it's called. So you could buy into this break or Throwback Thursday, which is coming up tomorrow. We'll be doing a case of 2011 Topps Lineage. So that's going to be a fun one. There's two autographs per box. And uh, we'll be chasing after Freddie Freeman's rookie card in the base set. Um, they have some cool old designs in there and so on and so forth. So anyway, uh, Landon says, my heart is broken. I was looking through this old guy's card collection and found a Ricky Henderson rook rookie card in terrible condition. That's terrible. Well, if you only wanted a couple bucks for it, then it's not that bad. I personally would buy a Ricky Henderson in terrible condition if it was just a few dollars just because it's a Ricky Henderson rookie card. Let's see what we can find for Saul now in box number three. Kyler, welcome to the live stream. Thank you so much for being here. Let's see what we can find for you in your box. There's going to be four autographs per box. All right, so the spacers I'm going to use when we get to the middle so we can kind of you know, not spoil a surprise of the hits. There's Yadier Alvarez. Already saw him once. Next up, we have Chris Bryant. That's a Bashers card. It's, I guess, a numbered parallel there. It is Chris Bryant out of 75. Very, very nice. Chris Bryant, I'm going to put the spacer down there. Like that one. Who won the giveaway? The giveaway um, is coming up. We usually do this at the end of the video because sometimes there's like technical glitches where it's tough to see if people subscribe and it's a really slow process sometimes. Um, so I usually save those for the end. And this next one's a big hit right here. It is a Bo Bichette autograph. Very nice. Bo Bichette autograph for Saul. One of the big names in the autograph set. If you look it over, congratulations on that one, Saul. His autographs, uh, his cards in general have been way sky high as he has emerged as one of the top rookies in this class. A lot of people think of him as number two in this year's rookie class, right behind Jordan Alvarez. Very, very nice one right there. Bo Bichette for Saul. That is the hit of the night so far. We'll see if we can break it. Nolan says, how much was a box of this? $154.00 per box. Very nice. Bo Bichette. Big hit right there. Let's see if we can keep it going. Our next hit is going to be a, well, it's not a big name. It is an Ian Anderson. Still an autograph right there. Ian Anderson from the Braves for Saul. The Bo Bichette might be the hit of the box. Cool Cena. How's it going? Welcome to the live stream. Hope everybody's having a great night tonight as we look through Bowman High Tech with four, sometimes five. Saul says, you just tempted me into buying another box. Well, Saul, if you'd like to send the money over, I'll put you in there. Uh, box number, I think it's nine or ten where we left off, and I'll check it out when we get there. It's a Patrick Weagle. Very nice Patrick Weagle autograph. Smoke and breaks. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Welcome to the Patreon family. Next up, let's see if we can find... Whoa! I see a one of one coming up for you, Saul. So Saul said, I just... Convinced him to buy another box because he's having a good run here. There is a one of one sitting right there. So uh, let me go and grab a one touch for that one. A very good box for Saul. He pulled a Bobichet autograph 
as his first autograph. There's still another one sitting in there. I don't know if this is going to be an autographed one of one or not. I might as well just grab a whole handful of these one touches. Let's see what it is. Uh, Saul, the big winner is so far tonight. All right, so sorry for bumping the table, everybody. I hope this is a big hit for sure. A stack of one touches ready to go. It would be crazy if it was a Mike Trout. It is going to be an autograph, I could tell you that. Autograph one touch, and it's a good one. Mitch Keller, the Pirates' number one pitching prospect. One of one, Mitch Keller. He had his major league debut last year in the big leagues, and he is a really decent prospect. Congratulations, Saul. We're going to get your one of one, one touch straight away. As you know, one touches, people usually put them on eBay for several hundred dollars. Sometimes people even put up put up for a thousand or more dollars as they are one of ones. And I would always suggest putting up your one of ones for whatever the heck you want to get for it. And then always do best offer. And if you get a nice offer, take it. Um, maybe put up for $800. If somebody offers you 400, you could take that best offer. See that a lot with... Um, the one of one. So a very nice box for Saul. He pulled a one of one Mitch Keller and he also pulled a Bo Bichette autograph. So two big hits right there for Saul and he is not done yet. There is um, a couple more cards here. Uh, all right, Saul, I'll check it out. Once we get to the uh, eight, ninth box, I'll check it and add you to the list. Now, I think the autographs are done. For now, in this box, we have Isan Diaz. We've seen him popping up in 20... Another autograph! It's Aloy Jimenez! Are you serious, Saul? I thought we were done with the autographs. We already pulled four. They gave you a one of one. So they're like, let's just make this the best box of 2017 high-tech ever. Aloy Jimenez, back when he was a Cubs prospect, and it looks like it's going to be a low-numbered card. Let's check this one out. Aloy Jimenez is numbered out of five. Out of five. That's another one touch for you. Unbelievable. A one of one Mitch Keller, a Bo Bichette. They're both autographed. Now, I thought the autos were done because that was four. And we are back with another one. So Bowman High Tech from 2017 turning out to be a very, very good um, box right here. Congratulations on that one. We're going to get this bad boy one touched as well. Aloy Jimenez autographs. Um, I'm not sure what this one's going to go for. There's only five of them. I would imagine at least, if I had to put a price on it, I would say 500 bucks on this one is what my guess would be. I know that uh, a lot of his 2019 autos are usually around $100 to $150. Check that out. Three of five. So, Saul... <laughs> Who's the third person to play? That's what, uh, pay. That's why you got number three. Hot Fire Bird says, "Stop the stream." Doesn't get any better than this. He got Aloy Jimenez back when he was with the Cubs before he was traded to the White Sox for uh, Quintana. We also have Bo Bichette and also the one of one. So it's not that often that I get to use two one touches in the very same box, especially um, for one one person here in a uh, span of. 10 cards. We're seeing $300 on the Aloy Jimenez. Still very nice. Let's see what else they have in the box for you, Saul. We got Victor Robles and Kevin Maiton as your other two cards there. So they gave you 10 cards. They gave you five autographs. And uh, I don't know, a lot of value there. You may have um, amassed maybe about, is it too much to say that he might have come away with almost a grand from this box? Uh, from that box alone, if you put the Aloy Jimenez around 300, if you get, oh, I don't know, 200 for the Bo Bichette, maybe that's 500. I don't know what you can get for that one touch, the one of one. Uh, it's really tough to tell with the one of ones. But next up, box number four. This one's going to Robert. So Robert's probably sitting by patiently thinking, dang it, I wish I would have paid just a few seconds earlier. The way I do this is when people sign up, I put their names on a list in red. And as their payments come in, I take their name off that red list and I put them in green uh, on the break list. So Robert was the fourth person to play. He's got uh, pay. He's got box number four. Let's see what we can find for Robert in box number four. All right. I don't know if we could top that one, but we will try. Um, you guys could check out the autograph list on 
uh, cardboard connection. Uh, it's $154 per box. Syed Ahmed, how's it going? Fuego Sports TV says Robert will get another one of one. We'll see. Uh, I I hope so. I love pulling one of ones. Bolts cards, you just missed an amazing, amazing box. Um, scroll back about five, ten minutes and watch it. It's Saul's box. It's um, pretty unbelievable. Todd says we need an Alonso auto. That would be pretty nice. So we're going to start things off here with Forrest Whitley. Free Friday Breaks is here. Free Friday Breaks, thank you very much. Uh, Free Friday Breaks says... Um, that was the best high-tech box that I've ever seen. Yes, indeed it was. Um, also, I agree with you. I'm going to put Free Friday Breaks link right there if you'd like to check him out. Hopefully it came up. Um, Heather is not here currently. She's running a little bit late, but she did send me a list of, um, she's very, very organized. So she has a whole list here. And Daddy Daughter, I also sent you her list as well if you'd like to drop the links in there. Uh, and help out the channels grow. And also, Blacktooth is here. Here's Blacktooth's link, everybody. I'll drop it into the chat. Um, Blacktooth says, smash the like button, folks. Thank you very much, Blacktooth. And let me know when you get your um, your comp stuff from Bowman. I'm always a little bit scared of sending stuff to Canada, but it should be there soon. Robert, you got Forrest Whitley leading things off. I hope you guys will check out Blacktooth and also Free Friday Breaks. All right, Daddy Daughter, thank you very much. It's uh, it's very, very helpful. I hope you guys will also check out da Daddy Daughter's channel. They have an awesome channel as well. Isan Diaz is the next one as we get to the autographs. Let's see what we can find next. There's Steven's card. It says, this high tech is a beauty. I'm having a sale tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern time. If you're not otherwise inclined, if you love jabs, you'll tolerate me. Steven's cards breaks. Uh, I hope you guys will check out Steven's cards. Um, thank you very much for that. And make sure you check them out tomorrow at 6 p.m. Daddy Daughter, I do see Steven's on our list that I sent you. If you want to drop that in there for everyone to check out. Steven's cards breaks, guys. And here's our first hit of this round. It's a good one as well. Top prospect, Alex Kirillov. Very, very nice. There's Daddy Daughter with Steven's cards. If you'd like to check out Steven's cards. Thank you, Daddy Daughter, for that. Uh, Alex Kirillov, a very nice hit right there. If you're a Twins fan, you know about him. And also, if you're a Pittsburgher, you also know about Kirillov as he is a big name to come out of this area. And he's probably going to end up being about a 30 home run bat in the big leagues. There's Hits Only. Uh, thank you very much, Hits Only, for the tip. I hope you guys will check him out as well. Hits Only does great work, and he's moving up the ladder. So, all ready for Robert. The first uh, hit was really good. I do have four spots. What happened was... There was uh, boxes 9 through 12. We had folks not pay for their breaks. Um, so we're still waiting on uh, guys like Adam, Mike, and Austin to pay their spots. Um, if you haven't paid, then um, we can give those away to other folks. In fact, we can give them away right now. There's Daddy Daughter with hits only. Uh, if you'd like to check them out. Our next one is going to be a Reese Hoskins. So the autographs are some big names from 27 High Tech so far. Reese Hoskins Auto. Very, very nice. So two, um, you guys may not know Kirillov yet, but he's a really good prospect. So two big hits so far for Robert. Congratulations on that one. Card Collector says, OMG, stop. OMG, Reese Hoskins is our next hit. I'm loving this. Loving the Bowman High Tech. Some great stuff. Todd says, bring on the big name autos. Let's see what we can do. We've still got at least two autographs left, as you know. Uh, this is box number four, and two of the three boxes we opened had five hits in there. This next one is a a pretty big name back uh, in the day. It's uh, Kevin Maiton. Uh, he was a really top prospect with the Braves. Not sure what he's going for now, but he's now with the uh, Angels, and he was like a top international pro prospect a couple years ago. J. Bob and Son says, Saul Alcantara's box making me wish I signed up. Great stuff once again. J. Bob and Sons, thank you very much. I hope you guys will check out J. Bob and Sons. If Daddy Daughter wants to drop his link in there, make sure you click on that and check his channel as we look at Kevin Maiton. Very nice. And we still have a fourth hit. There's Daddy Daughter with Jay's link if you'd like to check out his channel. Here we go. Next up, Robert, you have at least one more auto left. Let's see who it is. And it's a good one. It is Kyle Lewis from the Mariners. You saw him. 
Um, coming up in the 2020 rookie class of uh, all these great players that we have in the 2020 Top Series 1 set, uh, Kyle Lewis is a top 10 rookie as well. So overall, I would say all four of your autographs were really good, Robert. Congratulations on those. And you may not be done yet. Nolan, the giveaway is at the end of the stream, so just sit tight for that. Next up, we have another nice name. It is going to be a numbered Austin Meadows out of 199. I love the high-tech product as well, Maya. I love the see-throughness of it. Austin Meadows back with the Buckos is a nice one out of 199. Last couple cards here, you have Isan Diaz. Brendan Rogers, and the last one is going to be a Matt Manning. Um, so, Robert, congratulations on a nice run there of autos. All four of those are quality autos. No names of guys that I've never heard of, which is always good news. I'm not even like a big prospect guy either. So, uh, all right. So, very, very nice. Spot number four in the books. Next up, spot number five is for Eric G. And Steel Sports Cards is here. Steel Sports Cards says, these autos are sick. Thanks for the great work, Jab. Steel Sports Cards. Uh, thank you very much. I will be seeing um, Steel Sports Cards in this break in a little bit. And also, Camille with a $10 Super Chat. Thank you very much, Camille. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys will check out uh, Steel Sports Cards and Camille as well. Daddy Daughter has been dropping the links in for you guys. There he is with Steel Sports Cards. Heather is uh, running a little bit late today. She'll be here probably around, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe in like less than 30 minutes. But uh, Daddy Daughter doing a great job filling in. And um, make sure you check out Camille. There's 357 Magus saying Camille is a legend. Um, Camille, you'll be seeing her in the break as well. Uh, tonight. So best of luck to you, Camille. Eric is up right now. So Eric has seen the last two boxes be very nice. And hopefully his box is very nice as well. Let's see what we can find for him in box number five. There he is. Says, go me. Best of luck to you, Eric. Black Two says, daddy daughter car breaks is a legend tonight. He's doing a great job. Very nice addition to the moderator family here. Uh, Heather and I were talking about adding a new moderator to the channel to help her out a little bit. And also the other moderators that are constantly here, guys like uh, all you guys are, are do a great job. And um, the first name that she said was uh, the, the first name on my list too. Daddy Daughter has been here for a while helping like helping us out participating. And uh, there he is. says, hey, Eric, doing a box war with J-Bob and Sons with the 93 Donruss from our Patreon packages. First video is going up tomorrow. Loser to donate $50 to charity. Daddy Daughter Car Breaks. I'm going to have to check that one out. I was just watching one of your videos today. And Daddy Daughter Car Breaks actually pulled out of his 89 Fleer pack the Billy Ripken FF card, which I personally have never pulled out of a pack. I, I can't remember pulling it. I have a couple of that car that I bought. But very nice pull there. I hope you guys will check out Daddy Daughter. And I'm looking forward to that. Uh, for some of my Patreons, they received a 93 Donruss uh, wax box to search down the elite series card so they're doing a box war make sure you check that one out now eric's up right now tom how's it going we have austin meadows leading things off already pulled that one it was a numbered card out of 299 earlier this one is not numbered but it's still a nice looking card i wish the pirates still had austin meadows card number two is going to be a pj conlin base card even the base cards of high tech are nice i do like them a lot now i think it's time to get to the autographs for eric eric is here right now so your first auto is going to be a, I do see a Redemption Blue in there. It's a Mitch Keller, our second Mitch Keller of the break. Pirates' number one pitching prospect. You'll probably see him as a number four or five in their rotation once the season starts up eventually. Uh, very nice one right there. We'll get that one sleeved up. And we saw Mitch Keller auto already tonight as it was a one of one for Saul. Next up, we have a... And I'm not sure if I've heard of this guy. Let me check it out. It is a Henderson Espinosa. Looks like a youngster right there. Henderson Espinosa from the Padres. It's numbered out of 199, 122, 199. We might need Robert H to chime in about uh, Anderson Espinosa, not Henderson. Anderson Espinosa, because I'm not too privy to much information about him. Let's see what we can find next. Still should be at least one auto in here along with this redemption. The redemption is going to be a Brendan Rogers. 
Brendan Rodgers High Tech uh, Redemption. Unfortunately, you can probably send that in. Maybe they will take care of it for you. And Stephen Belcher is here. Says, my first break today. Be good to me. Stephen, thank you very much. Uh, we will see you. I forget where you're at exactly in here, but we will see you coming up. And Stephen, I appreciate the support. I hope you guys will check out Stephen. And, and Stephen, I believe that's your first time uh, super chatting. So Heather always keeps a large like database so we can drop your links in there. If any of you guys, if any of you guys can find Stephen's channel so we can link him, give him some support, I would very much appreciate that. Joshua says, Unreal, the Target Mega Box already selling for upwards of $80. Yeah, $80 to $100 on that. And um, it's craziness. The box costs nineteen ninety nine. You're you're, ne you're never gonna find it, unfortunately. And our fourth autograph is going to be. It is a nice one. AJ Puck, one of the top rookies in this class as well. AJ Puck. You see him in the twenty twenty products. He's right up there with Jesus Lusardo, young Oakland Athletics uh, pitchers right there. A nice auto. So we'll see if Eric can find a bonus auto. Let's, it's happened before. I mean, the Aloy Jimenez autograph came out of a box with a redemption, so we shall see. We have a Cody Bellinger 2017 numbered out of 99. That is a nice one. No rookie card designation on this one, but still very nice. Next up, we have a Frankie Mejia. This one is not numbered either. He's over on the... Um, Padres right now. Jason Groom is up next from the Boston Red Sox. And the last one there, it's going to be a very nice one, Aloy Jimenez. Aloy Jimenez already found his autograph last card for Eric. So, Eric, thank you very much. Next up, we have Brian S. coming up. J-Bomb says, hey, Saul, congrats, man. Um, Mr. K says, anything big? You want to go back and watch box number three of this. Box number three is pretty unreal. Uh, Will says that Bellinger card goes for $15 alone, so that's pretty good right there. Next up is Brian S. in box number six. Let's see what we can find for you. Tim says, I pulled a Dominguez first Bowman Chrome out of a blaster box from Target. That's a nice pull. About a week ago, that card was trending for about $75. I'm not sure if it's still going up or still going down, um, but uh, a very nice pull. Probably about a $70 card right there. Brian, best of luck to you. Box number six. Red Lightning says, I love when you have two videos in one day. Yeah, we, we just stopped off at Target. I was looking for top loaders because I'm completely out of top loaders. I have like two packs left. And uh, I couldn't find them anywhere, but we stopped in Target just checking if there was Bowman there. And there, there wasn't, but there was those bright yellow new boxes. So we grabbed uh, those to check those out as a new release uh, preview. And I, I bought seven of them. Uh, just because I wanted to make sure you never know with the Fairfield stuff. Like if it was a, like two of those boxes were pretty crappy, it was like all I won't tell you the packs in there in case you haven't seen it yet. But the other ones weren't that bad. Brian, let's see what we can find for you in box number six. I did not hear about it, Dylan. What happened with Archer? <clears throat> Ten cards, four autographs. Let's see what we can find for you. So we start off with Ian Anderson. We'll use our little cover here because you can see through some of these cards. Ian Anderson is the first one for Brian. Next up, card number two, it's going to be Mitch Keller, Pirates top prospect. Already pulled two of his autographs so far. One of them was a one of one auto, which was a huge hit. Archer needs surgery. That's not good. That's been, you know what? <clears throat> it just gets worse and worse for the Pirates. Awful trade. It's going to go down as one of the worst trades of all time. Um, everyone talks about, like, uh, the Jeff Bagwell trade and um, the John Smoltz trade as being awful. This is going to be awful because we're, we have two surefire, not Hall of Famers, but All-Stars. I think Glassdown is going to be a multi-year All-Star, and already um, Austin Meadows is an All-Star, probably 35-plus home run bat every year. Awful trade. And uh, ultimately cost Neil Huntington, their general manager, their job. Time to get some autographs. Let's see what we can find. You've seen this one come up in some 2020 releases. Junior Fernandez autograph from the Cardinals. And it's numbered. The numbering is kind of hard to see based off of how the card is angled against the light. That's out of 199. 127 of 199 for Junior Fernandez. Nice auto there if you're a Cardinals fan. 
for Bryant. So that's hit number one of the box. Next up, you have a Yankees hit. It's going to be a big one. It's Glaber Torres autograph. Holy cow, Brian, congratulations on that. Glaber's autograph. Let's get out the one touch for this bad boy. Very, very nice. Glaber Torres. Wow, this has been a very good box or very good case of high tech so far. I'm enjoying this product. I like the high number of autographs. And I like that a lot of them are decent. The autograph uh, checklist in this has been very strong. Glaber's autograph. Let's get it one touched up. You'll have to let me know what this card goes for. It's not numbered, but usually um, these Glaber autos are still worth a pretty penny. 2017, before he was even in the big leagues, his autograph right there. Burning through my one touches. It's Glaber Day, says Keith. James says, incredible good case. Yes, this has been a great case so far. Eduardo says it's a $75 card. I'm still going to put it in a one-touch in case. Brian wants to send that bad boy off and get graded. Next up, let's see what else we have. The next hit is going to be a Roniel Rod, Rod Ace, I guess. I don't even know. That's some uh, prospect that I haven't heard of. Uh, One Man Renegade Podcast says, Hey, Jabs, great break so far. Really nice product. Thank you very much, One Man Renegade Podcast. Um, I appreciate your support. If any of the moderators want to drop his link in the chat, I'd very much appreciate that. So you guys could check him out and help his channel grow. This has been a very nice product so far. The Glaber is my favorite one out of this box, and there still should be one more autograph at the minimum coming. Some of these boxes, as you've seen, have had five totals. Uh, autos. Our next one is going to be a Justice Sheffield. So our second, there's Daddy Daughter doing the good work there. Daddy Daughter's got the link for you if you'd like to check out uh, One Man Renegade Podcast. And a uh, very quick work there of checking out One Man. Um, Justice Sheffield is the next one up. Armando Guzman says, what's up? MAGA, Daddy, Daughter, Eric, Card Collector, and also everyone else. Good luck, Armando. Thank you very much. Hope you guys will um, hook up with Armando. He's a great guy and uh, chat with him. Loves cards. Uh, Todd says, safe to say this product is loaded. This has been a, yeah, I've, I've had fun with this. Very, very happy with this product thus far. Our next hit is a numbered out of 50. It's Lord Ace Goriel Jr., 13 of 50. Younger brother of Yuli Goriel and part of that core four up there along with Kevin Biggio. And uh, Vladdy Guerrero Jr. and Bo Bichette. He's probably fourth on that depth chart in terms of potential stars. But still a good one out of 50. Equine says pretty card. Yeah, that's a nice looking card. We have Tyler O'Neill back when he was with the Mariners next. And our last one for Brian is going to be J.P. Crawford. Bears Fury. This is actually 2017 Bowman High Tech. 2020 High Tech is not yet out. All right, so... Nice Glaber Auto for Brian. That's box number six. Go ahead and put this over here to await Heather's arrival. And um, Dirk Remington with a $2 Super Chat. Dirk, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys will check out Dirk Remington's channel. Um, I appreciate the support, man. All right, so we got another box coming. There are 12 boxes in the case, and we're on box number seven as we go through high tech. Here it comes. Trevor, best of luck to you. As you've seen, some of these boxes have been really nice so far. Let's hope that that continues with this. Four autographs per box. I like sets like this. Really, um, they're fun to do. 357 Mega says, win your break with Phil or... Matt Antonelli, I don't have a break coming up um, with either of those guys. If they'd like to break with me, that would be pretty fun for sure. I do like collaborating with uh, folks. Um, unfortunately, there's not too many chances for that, at least in this area. Um, I'm hoping to maybe do a collab in August at some point with an ex-major leaguer or two. Not either of those guys, although uh, Matty Antonelli is a really cool dude, and I would uh, he's stopped in here a few times and chatted with us. All right, so Trevor, you're up right now. Thank you, 357 MAGA, for the support. Let's see what we can find now in your box, Trevor. We start off with Patrick Weagle. 
Very nice. Stalvin says, I got so desperate for baseball cards, I bought into some hot corner boxes only to find uh, one of the packs in each was a 92 upper deck, but at least you pulled a Manny Ramirez rookie card. Yeah, that's always a nice consolation prize, finding one of the better rookies. Next up, we have a Lewis Brinson, who was uh, actually a brewer there for a while before traded to the Marlins for Christian Yelich. And a trade that's going to haunt the Marlins for the duration of Yelich's career. Ended up being a terrible trade. It's time for the autos. Our first autograph is an Alfredo Rodriguez from the Cincinnati Reds. That's the first one. Not a big name value-wise, at least not yet. Don't know much about him. Mike G says, how much does a box of these cost? They were $154. And Jacob says, I got lucky yesterday at a local Walmart. Uh, the vendor was there stocking the shelf, was able to get four 2020 Bowman Blasters and five value packs after another gentleman got what he wanted. Jacob, you did get lucky. Most uh, quote-unquote gentlemen would probably grab every single one of those. And um, very nice. Let's see what we can find now as our next autograph. It's going to be an, an Anderson Espinosa, our second one. Uh, second one of his. For the Padres, autograph number two. There are four autographs per box. Let's see who our third auto is. Third autograph is going to be Francisco Mejia, who was a really nice prospect back in the day. He was high on all the prospect charts. So back 2017, this, this uh, auto would have been a nice one for sure. Unfortunately, he really has struggled since being, uh, you know, in the big leagues. Kind of was a backup catcher last season for the um, Padres. And let's see what we can find next. I have to open some more top loaders here as we go along. Uh, Breakers R says, hello, and hope everyone is enjoying themselves. Breakers R Us, thank you very much. I uh, hope you're having a great day as well. I hope you guys will check out Breakers R Us. If Daddy Daughter, you can drop his link in there for everyone to check his channel out. Uh, so far, it's a great day. Loving the Bowman High Tech. Our fourth auto is going to be Alfredo Rodriguez for the second time. So they put two Alfredo Rodriguez's in your box. And there's Daddy Daughter with the link. If you'd like to check out Breakers R Us, just click on that link. It will take you to his page. So two of the same autos. I always hate it when that happens. It tells me that the quality control person that was supposed to be overseeing the autos may have fallen asleep at the switch there, so to speak. Let's see, what do we have next? We have Zach Collins is the next one. This is numbered out of 199, out of 199, Zach Collins, Chicago White Sox. Next up, we have a Roniel Rodes again for the Boston Red Sox. We got Belly Bombs coming up, 2017 card, which is a nice one, probably worth, oh, I don't know. Maybe, might be able to get five bucks for that base card. And a Bo Bichette as well. So check out the Cody Bellinger as I sleeve that up. And the last one is Bo Bichette. Um, some sort of parallel. I'm not sure what this um, design is called, but a very nice one. Uh, James, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Welcome. So box number seven is in the books for Trevor. Next up is box number eight. And this one is going to Chris, a.k.a. Chip. Best of luck to you. I think we saw him in here earlier. I think I saw one of his comments scroll on by. So I hope you find something good. After we do the all of the um, uh, high tech, we are going to be moving on and doing the 2020 select, which should be a fun one. I do like select. There's four hits per box in that one too. It's another um, low low card, high hit count type box. Let's see what we can find for Chris in box number eight. You see your nice silver pack right there. All right, so Chris, I'm hoping you find some big name autos. We start off. There's Denver Cards 55 says, hey Jabs, love the videos. Denver Cards, thank you very much. I hope that um, you guys will check out Denver Cards. Uh, if, uh, one of the moderators wanted to check his channel out, look him up. He's not on our original um, super chat list that I sent to you, Daddy Daughter, but I hope you guys will check out Denver Cards, especially if you're a Colorado Rockies fan. So thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate that. Let's get into uh, chips right now. Uh, Joe, I could see your comment. We start off with a 
I don't even know how to say that name. Jalen Ortiz, possibly. Base card. Nice one right there as we use the spacers to hide the autographs. Willie Calhoun would have been a nice autograph. He is a great prospect. There he is with the Los Angeles Dodgers, of course, now with the Texas Rangers. Had his jaw shattered by a fastball in spring training. There's Daddy Daughter. If you'd like to check out Denver Cards, click on that link and give him some support. Time to... No, not the autographs yet. We have Clint Frazier with the Yankees there. Uh, Todd says, Glaber, Aloy, and Bobichette autos already. That's big time. Yeah, I'm hoping there's some more big stuff coming out of here. Here comes the autographs. We start off with our first of four. We have a Braxton Garrett. There's Denver Cards 55 with a $25 Super Chat. Denver Cards, thank you very much. I hope you guys, if you haven't clicked the uh, link that Daddy Daughter just left, make sure you get on over there and check out Denver Cards. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate that. Very generous of you. Um, and Lil Dill says, where do you get your top loaders? I'm having a hard time finding ones. I ordered a case of them online, and um, they're from BCW. And unfortunately, I just got a notification from my dealer, who I buy my cases from, or at least some of my cases, that BCW canceled his order. So uh, Heather and I went out to West Virginia today to look for Bowman and top loaders and found zero of both of them. Emiliano Brito with an angel emoji. Emiliano, thank you very much. I hope you guys will check out Emiliano Brito's channel. I appreciate the support. Our next autograph here is going to be a Junior Fernandez from the St. Louis Cardinals. Nice one right there. And our third hit, it's going to be Adrian Morjohn again. Young pitcher for the Padres, Adrian Morjohn. And our fourth hit, yeah, Todd, I, at Target, I, I saw Ultra Pro um, of the pages, the sleeve pages, the binder pages, but unfortunately, no top loaders. Fourth hit, it's going to be a Francisco Mejia auto is the fourth hit, so maybe there'll be a fifth one. You never know. There wasn't two of the boxes. Let's go through. We have Isan Diaz. This one is... Sometimes these are numbered. Um, this one is not numbered. Usually these orange I thought were numbered. I don't see the um, out of 25 there. How's it going? Two Planker. We have Raphael Devers. Nice prospect card right there. Devers is a nice one. Check that one out. Love to find his autograph. And last card of the box is going to be a Braxton Garrett. Braxton Garrett for Chip. Jacob says that's a beautiful card. So, Chris, thank you very much. No huge autograph in that one, unfortunately. That's just the way these boxes go. Um, now, box number nine is coming up, and uh, we had some folks not pay their invoices. So I'm going to log into PayPal real quick. I know Saul said that he sent his on over. So 9 through 12 are open. Let me go into my page and check it out and see if these folks sent their payment in so i do see a payment coming up from saul we'll get you added in box number nine right now it's my internet's being super slow i clicked on my activity page and um, it's just kind of spinning its wheels here but i do see saul right there and also i see um somebody actually beat you to it so let me go back here because we have Mike L. Beat you by a short amount of time, but he's got box number nine. Mike L. E. V. A. S. S. He's in there. Megan, thank you very much. And box number 10, the next uh, person to pay, Saul's got box number 10. So we'll see if you have some good luck again. El Canon is here. Hey, El Canon, how's it going? I hope you guys will check out El Canon. says... Uh, Denver Cards, just sub to you, Colorado for life. And uh, Eric, have you bought any of the Topps Project 2020 cards? The secondary is crazy high. Uh, yeah, I haven't bought any of them, El Canon. I, I was looking at the Ricky Henderson uh, 1980 Topps Project 2020. It's like over $500 for that card. Like I, I would rather just go and buy like a PSA 8 or 9 Ricky Henderson with that money than pay all of that. I'm not sure if they're going to retain their value or not or if it's just a really hot thing right now. So I hope you guys... We'll check out El Canon's channel. Uh, he also does awesome work. And uh, thank you for supporting um, Colorado uh, Denver Cards 
55 as you Colorado guys stick together. It's Daddy Daughter with El Canon. So let's see what Mike can find now in box number nine. We will see Mike also in here a little bit later. He's got a pack of Prism, so I'm going to have to add him to that as well. How much to get in on one of these? These are um, it's uh, $154 a box as they are a bit pricey. You can get them for about the same amount on, I think they're like 150 on blowout cards, but with tax and everything, I, I had to up it at four extra dollars there. All right, so here we go. Let's see what we can find for Mike. Also had to add Mike to his uh, prism, 2019 prism. Sorry, Mike, uh, your your card for Prism, I just recycled a Bowman High Tech for spot number 48. Heather's not here at the moment. She'll be here any minute, though. All right, so, Mike, let's see what we can find. Usually, Heather does all the cards. Uh, you can see I had some trouble doing the cards today. Got red ink all over my hand. All right, so, Mike, box number nine. Let's see what we can find for you in Bowman High Tech. There's your pack. Four autographs. Jacob says, good luck, Mike. Yes, best of luck to you. You start off with Glaber, which is a nice one. I already pulled his autograph uh, a couple boxes ago, which was a really nice surprise. Glaber starting things off. Uh, Daddy Dara says, we had lots of problems with this Sunday, too. You may need an update. Yeah, there's been a lot of uh, uh, chat problems with the uh, new iOS update. You have to, JW says, you have to toggle the live chat on and off every now and then. Luis Castillo already found his autograph as well tonight. Nice base card. All right, we have a Zach Collins base card. Looking for the big names here for the autographs. We'll see what we can find. Here comes the autos. It's usually three regular cards, four autos, and then three regular cards again. Seth, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. We have our first autograph is a Lucius Fox from the Tampa Bay Rays, Lucia Fox. Jake says, which product is up after this? It's going to be 2020 Select after this. Next auto, we have a Corey Sedlock uh, from the Baltimore Orioles. Corey Sedlock, I don't know much about him, unfortunately. All right, autograph number three. Ted says, my target finally got some Bowman baseball in and I went crazy. Did you go crazy celebrating or did you get uh, go crazy like buying every single box in the store? Let us know. Our next one is a Jason Groom from the Red Sox. Hit number four. And Mike, you got one more hit left. Let's hope it's a recognizable name because um, I haven't recognized any three of those so far. I, again, I'm not a big prospect guy. I mostly just follow the big leagues, but here we go. A nice one, Willie Calhoun. Willie Calhoun, and he is a nice name. If you look at him, a lot of people think he's going to be a breakout player. He's on the Texas Rangers now. Willie Calhoun autograph, so that is the best one of the box. Nice auto right there, and you still have three base cards. You have a numbered card here coming up. It's out of 99. It's going to be Ozzy Albies, 26 of 99 like that one a lot. I'm going to get this one sleeved up. I have to... I'm sleeving these as we go along. I'm trying to save Heather some time. Heather always sleeves the card as we go. I'm sleeving every single Bowman high-tech card because they're so nice. So there's a Kevin Maiton base card. There's Mandy says, Hi, Eric. I got my giveaway cards today. Thanks, Mandy. Thank you very much. Uh, Mandy won our giveaway earlier this week. Um, she won the stack of 2010... Bowman Chrome, so congratulations on winning that one. I think you won that on Sunday, and uh, I really uh, appreciate your support, Mandy. I hope you guys will check out Mandy's channel, and I uh, hope your opening day came as well, um, either right uh, before that or right after that. That box, I think I sent both of them the same day. I can't exactly remember. All right, so Mike, thank you very much. Our next spot, box number 10, he is back. Here he is. You've been here for the past, oh, I don't know, 40 minutes. You saw a huge box for Saul. Sam says, hey, Eric, what was the best hit yet? Sam, if you want to see that, scroll back to box number three. Um, it was amazing. And then BITG Break says, breaking a box with Matt Antonelli this Saturday. Videos up 
on how to get a free spot. BITG breaks. Thank you very much. That's a pretty awesome opportunity there. Breaking a box with a former uh, Major League Baseball player and also current YouTuber. Has a great channel. Does great work. Uh, BITG, looking forward to seeing that on Saturday. Make sure you check him out. That's going to be a cool one. And Mandy says, also got my opening day. I hope that you can check out BITG and Sam Muller. Uh, Daddy Daughter is on the links tonight and doing a great job. So when he drops those in there, make sure you click on those and check them out. All right, Saul, let's see what we can find for you. Can he possibly get <coughs> anywhere close to what he got in box number three? We'll check that out right now. Box number three for Saul. He got five autographs, and uh, it was pretty amazing. So here we go. Best of luck to you. Equan is chanting Saul's name. Hey, J&W's got the link. Thank you, J&W, for dropping that in there. If you'd like to check out B-I-T-G. Bowman High Tech Baseball. Four autographs, ten cards each. Let's see what we can find for you. Mark, how's it going? All right, so... He starts off with Kevin Maiton. I already see some color in there. I do see some orange. And um, let's get my spacer ready for this. Your first card, Saul, you have Kevin Maiton, regular base card. We'll get that one sleeved up. This might be our last box uh, of Bowman High Tech, by the way. I'm just going to go ahead and cancel Austin P. I'm canceling your invoice um, for your boxes. So that's going to free up these officially. These last two, if anybody wants them. All right, you have a numbered out of 20. No, that's the next one, actually. It's Clint Frazier. You have a numbered card after this chip. If you want to take another one, go ahead and send the payment over right now, and you can have box number 11 um, or box number 12, depending on somebody else pays before you. I appreciate that, Chip. Best of luck to you. Clint Frazier, Yankees. Next up, we have a... Uh, Sean Newcomb, it's numbered 1 of 25. Nice orange, numbered 1 of 25. It's kind of tough to see. This product is so shiny. So to get the number, I have to go like that. And then we pick up a uh, portion of the light there reflecting off the card. Still a nice one. Now it's time to get into the autographs. Titus says, do that giveaway. Well, Titus, we do that at the end. So just uh, hold your horses Um those giveaways are all at the end of the breaks. We'll be doing the high voltage box giveaway. And um, I have another subscription box too called the bonus box. I'll just give that away as well. Next hit, it's a Mets fans out there. I may need some help. All right, Chip, thank you very much. It is a Wilmer Becerra. I don't know who that is because I don't know anything about prospects, but there's his autograph right there. Well, Titus, if you left a comment, the I have it all set up. Uh, it's, the link is already typed into the giveaway page. All I have to do is draw the winner, and then we will go and verify that you're subscribed and get it. Um, it'll be sent to you this week. Autograph number two. It's going to be a brewer, and it is going to be Corey Ray. I believe that's our second Corey Ray card. Corey Ray from the Brewers, auto number two. I think... Yeah, I think that's our second quarter, Ray. It'd be nice to find another Bo Bichette. So, Saul, so far, this is um, not living up to your your first box, but I don't think any box could be that good. Let's see what you have next. Your next hit is going to be Justin Dunn. So, Justin Dunn, nice pitcher. You guys have seen his rookie cards in the 2020 products out there. So, he's made it to the big leagues. Nice auto. That's back when he was with the Mets. Uh, now with the Mariners. So, nice one right there, Justin Dunn. Auto and your fourth and final. Maybe Saul's going to get lucky and get a fifth auto like he did the first box. It looks like it is going to be numbered. It's a Philly and it is going to be Mickey Moniak. Mickey Moniak from the Phillies, and that is out of 50. He was a top prospect for them. I haven't heard too much about him recently, though, but that is hit number four, numbered 14 of 50. All right, so now let's see if we can find a fifth auto for you. It'd be nice if we could. Fingers crossed. It's ha happened before. I'm going to get these in a top loader for you. Um, I want to keep those nice and protected. Spicy says, will you be doing more garbage patch kids unboxing? Do you guys like those? 
Um, I did one for Halloween this past year, but I think it was like Series 7 and 8. It forced Whitley out of 199. Nice numbered card right there for you, Saul. All right, now let's see what we can find in our next... Um, I guess we can just show them to you. Nick Senzel, I would love to find his autograph in this. Silent Collector with some popcorn. Silent Collector, thank you very much. Hope you guys will check out Silent Collector's channel. I appreciate the support. Daddy Dar, if you want to drop his link in there for folks to check him out. Always makes it easier for um, having the links to just click on ever since YouTube removed the uh, go-to channel feature. There's Daddy Daughter with Silent Collector's link if you'd like to go get on over there and subscribe to them. Next is Pittsburgher. Ian Happ, Will says, Moniac had a solid spring training, and the card's about $13 right now, so Moniac hopefully becomes a, a big name. Ian Happ is the last card in the box for Saul, so Saul, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Austin Farmer says, and by the way, Austin Farmer is the man for all of our um, prospect information, says, Moniac is a former first overall pick, and he's super fast, so we'll see uh, what happens with um, Mickey Moniac. Nice hit right there. Andrew says, you should do a video covering your personal collection. If I get it organized, people ask that all the time. If I get it organized, I'll definitely do that for you guys. I just have to get everything in one location there. All right, next up, I think um, Chip said that he took um, the open spot for this one. And, yes, I do see it there. So you have this one. Let me go ahead and put your name on it. This is... Chris, a.k.a. Chip Brandon. So we're down to one more box left. Sorry, my writing is, uh, well, I'm like looking around the camera, not that good. Best of luck to you. This is all we have left in the um, box. So box number 11 is right here. Here we go. And that leaves one more box. You can barely see it in the case, but it's there. One more box left to go. Best of luck to you. Chris, Sam says, who's your favorite current and old Pirates player? That's a great question from Sam. And Frank Scarcorn says, Jason Dominguez is making a lot of buzz here in New York. Hopefully baseball gets started and you guys can, um, we can all start talking about Jason Dominguez. I'm sure every step of uh, his career is going to be followed until he gets to the big leagues. Sam, my favorite current uh, player or Pirate player, my favorite current Pirate player is Josh Bell. Uh, my favorite old Pirates player, it's a really tough one. I'm going to go with Andy Van Slyke. I used to also like Bobby Bonilla and Barry Bonds. I never got to see Clemente play, but Van Slyke was uh, my favorite one by far. Baseball Brady is here. Says, what did I miss? Baseball Brady, thank you very much. I hope you guys will check out Baseball Brady's channel. Uh, Daddy Daughter, his name is on our list if you'd like to drop his link in there. And Kurt Wilson with a su uh, super chat of $1.99. Kurt, thank you very much. I appreciate the support. I hope you guys will check out Baseball Brady and also Kurt Wilson. And thank you for the question, Sam Muller, my Van Slyke was my guy back in the uh, late 80s. Got me into collecting cards. Let's see what we can find now for Chip. Uh, Edward said, if I win the giveaway, you can keep that Austin Meadows card. Thank you very much. I was stoked about that Austin Meadows card. Uh, I almost thought maybe that Electric City knew that I was a huge Austin Meadows fan and tossed it in there, but I did pre-say that I was giving away all the cards, and uh, so I'm sticking to that one. It's definitely a great card. $25 PSA 10. Goes for about 25 bucks. Nice one for sure. All right, so let's see. Ian Happ. Let's see what we can find in this one. Happ leads things off for Chip. Kurt Wilson says, how do you buy the last box? Kurt, you'd have to send in a, a Patreon, or not a Patreon, a PayPal payment for it. It's $154 for the box. There's Ian Happ is our first one. You can also pick up a box of these. It's like 150 on blowout cards, but then after you pay the tax and the shipping, it's, it's actually going to cost you a lot more than 154 But yeah, Mr. K, box number three. If you guys are just getting here, check out box number three. Absolutely amazing. Shy City Pool says, Jab, sorry I'm late. Good luck to all. Best pool. Shy City, I, I can't really say what the best pool is. But I'll tell you the best box was box number three because it was amazing. We had one of one autograph coming out, out of there. We had some huge name autos coming out of there as well. There's Daddy Daughter Breaks with the link. If you guys would like to go check out uh, Shy City, Kurt Wilson, I hope you guys will give them some support in baseball. Right? Isan Diaz is the next hit. We're about ready to get into the good stuff. There's usually one more base card than the autos. The base card is going to be Jorge Mateo from the Yankees. Nice one. Frank says nice design on these cards. And Todd says, my local LCS sold out a 2020 Bowman for 65 a pack. Yeah, that's that's what they're going for, at the very least. Um, 
It's crazy what the uh, prices are going for. And Daddy Daughter Carbrick says, props to all mods before me. Daddy Daughter, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And uh, thank you so much for helping out with these links. It's definitely a, a, a very uh, high-paced job. I know Heather says that she doesn't have a moment um, to kind of like relax. And she actually really enjoys it because it keeps her really busy, makes the time fly by. First autograph for you is a nice one. It's a Medrasario. Medrasario, of course, you guys know him. I, I like his autograph. Very simple. It's like a, like a partial star with Med on there. Ahmed Rosario, major leaguer right there. So that's a nice first hit for Chip. Let's see if we can pull something else nice for you. Your next auto, it's going to be another nice name, Willie Calhoun. So good job buying the second box so far. You're two for two on your autos. Willie Calhoun, now of the Texas Rangers, not numbered, but that is our second Willie Calhoun. Nice one right there. Two more autographs for you, Chip. Let's see if we can make it three for three in terms of uh, good prospects or good young players. And we do, Alex Kirillov. And it's a numbered one out of 199. So there we go. Alex Kirillov, top prospect in the twin system. Love that one. He's uh, honestly, I think he's going to be a big name. 30 plus home runs in the big leagues. And um, maybe I'm just biased because he's a Pittsburgher, but he was a first round pick and uh, signed for millions of dollars on that. Uh, on his uh, uh, bonus there, but very, very nice. Like that one. And you have one more coming up here. Let's see who it is. Uh, it's your fourth auto. Now, two of the boxes out of the 11 have um, had five autographs. So let's see now what we can find in our final spot for Chris. It is, it's a good one, Chris. Congratulations on buying that box. It is a Glaber Torres autograph. So there we go. I felt a little bit bad for Chris earlier. He bought into box number eight, and uh, the autographs weren't all that great. Some no names in there, but how about this one, Glaber Torres? You got three big hits right there. All four of your, or actually four, all four of your autographs were. Quote unquote big name hits, guys that are in the big leagues or great young players. You got a Ben Rosario, big leaguer, Willie Calhoun, top prospect, Alex Kirillov, really high blue chip prospect, and now Glaber Torres. So, what a box, Chip. Uh, probably the second best um, one of the uh, break. It's Glaber Knight, says Todd. A very nice one. I'm one touching this for you so that if you'd like to s send this on, it should be kind of easy to get a PSA 10 on these with the card stock that these are. I would hope you get one touch for you. Nice one right there. Chip, congratulations on that one. Really like that one. So we have one more box if anybody wants it. And um, otherwise, we're moving on to select. I'm going to get Chris's stuff all top loaded up and put with his others. Chris has box number 11 and 8. Uh, it's 100. Oh, wait, you got some more cards. What am I doing? Uh, chip some more cards chips were like wait a minute there's cards under that spacer how do you get the box it's 154 dollars for the last box if you bought into the breaks before you should have my paypal email address um chip was like wait a second i started to pick up the space i was like uh that's there's cards underneath there all right so that glaber threw me off i was so excited about that one uh, Roger says, you're killing me, Jabs. Just finished the Fairfield video. Now you're live, Roger. Sorry about that. It's a double upload day. I I, I didn't want to... I, I couldn't really slot that in anywhere, that new release. I was like, okay, when am I going to do this? I have Throwback Thursday tomorrow. I have um, Face Off Friday on Friday, plus a new release on Friday. That's two videos right there. I have the showdown Saturday. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to put it up there right now while I have it. While it's nice and hot off the shelves. The first time I've seen it. It is a very nice one right here, numbered out of 199. It's Brendan Rodgers. There's Christopher Martin, who we're going to be seeing in this break in a little bit. It says, I give up finding any Bowman in the wild. I'll just wait for the Nationals in Atlantic City in December and hit some vendors for the singles I want. That's a good approach. Loving the break tonight. Christopher Martin, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And uh, I also am about ready to give up looking for Bowman. Now, you have another shot at Bowman. Um uh, William, if you want to send the payment over right now, William King, I will put you in there. There's another shot for Bowman coming up. Um, the Bowman Mega Boxes are due out June 5th, so that is on Friday. Now, um, if you if your store stocks on Friday, maybe you can be like some guys and stand there all day and wait for them to come out. Those 
Mega boxers going for eighty to one hundred dollars a piece. They're nineteen ninety nine. Let's see what we can find now. It's Clint Frazier is the next card there. Frazier for Chip. And last one is going to be a Thomas Skipucky, I guess. I haven't heard of him. Awesome packs. How's it going, Thomas Skipucky? So, Chip, congratulations on a nice run of autos right there. That was pretty. Pretty exciting. Nice comeback from your first box. And this is the very last box. So I think I said uh, William wanted to grab this box. Let me see if it came through. And if so, we'll put you in spot number 12, the last one. Um, apologies to the folks that didn't pay. I had to cancel your invoices. And uh, yeah, I see it. Will, you are in. So this is going to Will King. Best of luck to you in our final box of the case. Chip said, that was fun. I still got some Select and Prism coming up, too. Yes, that's right. We're doing Select next. Get that ready to go. All right, box number 12. Last one for William King. All right, Equine says, good luck, Will. What a great case break. Yeah, it makes me want to do some more high-tech. I love high-tech. Um, I like the simplicity of the um, packaging. Just one silver pack inside each. Lots of autos in there. You can see the Glaber's on the front of the box. We found two of his autographs already. We haven't found Ben Attendee's auto yet, so we'll keep an eye out for that, and maybe we'll get lucky. Stars and top rookies and a, a future star, so they definitely hit on some of those guys for sure. That's the nice thing about Bowman products. Yeah, they miss on some of their prospects, but some of them end up being nice hits. All right, Titus, uh, unfortunately, all the spots are sold for this one. Chris... Christopher's cool card says, Jazz, what happened to your finger? Well, I'll tell you what happened right now. Um, you can see that a lot of these are in red. Um, I did all of the uh, nameplates today because um, Heather is running a little bit late. So I guess I need to learn how to put the marker back in the cap without missing. That's what happened. And I got red Sharpie. And I even took a – I noticed it, and I took a couple minutes to go scrub my hands really well, and I got a, most of it off, but there is still some there. It's not a cut. It's just red Sharpie. That's what happens when Heather uh, is not here, I guess. Then we got Brendan Rogers from the Colorado Rockies leading things off. Awesome Pack says, how do you enter the next case break? Well, good question, Awesome Packs. I'll be live again tomorrow. I have a case of Lineage for our throwback. And now that one's all spoken for. It's all sold out. Um, we sold that one by the stack. We'll be live again on Sunday. And I have, uh, I think I have some 2014 Bowman Draft coming, which is going to be a fun one. And um, a couple other things coming. So that'll be posted on Patreon probably Thursday or so, tomorrow or Friday. Um, I usually post them two or three days in advance. All right. Thank you for the question, though. Uh, next up is Andy Ibanez from the Texas Rangers for Will. So two base cards. The autos are cards four, four, five, six, and seven. Kevin Maiton. Next one up from the Bravos there. Now um, they forced the Braves to release him, and he's now on the Angels. Here comes the autographs. Let's see what we can find for you. Uh, the Yankees fan said, 2018 Bowman was the same way. I waited until my LCS bought a bunch of singles that I ended up buying a 3,200 count box of rookies and stars. It cost 150 bucks. Well, yeah, you can do that. Also, a lot of breakers, uh, not a lot, but there's breakers out there that only send you the, the hits, and the hits are defined as numbered cards, and top rookies and stuff like that, autographs, obviously. And what they do is they take all the base cards, and um, instead of sorting all those out, because it takes forever to sort those, so they're saving themselves some time. They sell those off in large lots, maybe like a 3,200 count box or something like that. And um, they make some money that way. So that is definitely a good way to go about it. Uh, picking up some cheap singles. We have PJ Conlin from the New York Mets. That is our first hit. PJ Conlin. Nice one right there for Will. I'm not the, uh, not the foremost expert on PJ Conlin, but that's hit number one. Hit number two. It's going to be a Lazarito Armenteros, and it's a green, so that'll be out of 99, I believe. No, not out of 99. It's not a green. That's just the Oakland Athletics green. Faked myself out there. We already pulled his autograph once tonight, so that's two. Todd said it's a bad way to do breaks. Yeah, I don't, well, you know what? If you don't like it, uh, I just want to buy into those for sure. If you, make sure you read the fine print. What happens a lot of times is people buy into a break, and they, they're not – 
they don't read the fine print and then they find out that they don't have a lot of their cards that they wanted coming their way. Forrest Whitley from the Houston Astros is our next hit. Houston Astros, Forrest Whitley, once a top, top prospect for them. He got himself in a little bit of trouble and uh, hoping he can bounce back. One thing about this Forrest Whitley card I'm noticing is what's with the signature? Um, it looks like he just put a big, uh, is that a big F on the card? A big capital F? I don't, I don't know if that's what that's supposed to be, but a very lazy signature from Forrest. You got to, you're going to be a big leaguer. Make sure you clean that signature up a little bit. Almost looks like a, sort of like a uppercase curse of J. I, I don't know. But Forrest Whitley is the next hit right there. Some players have some really sloppy ones. Willie Calhoun was like that too. Um, Alo Jimenez sometimes has a really sloppy, like shortened signature as well. So you got one more auto coming up. Looks like it's going to be a green auto, and it is numbered out of 99. This one is Junior Fernandez. Junior Fernandez, 42 of 99, is autograph number four. There still are a grand total of, I believe there's three more cards. Alonso does a good signature. It says Todd. Yes, he does. Another numbered card, it's going to be a Corey Sedlock. Numbered out of 199, 102 of 199. Corey Sedlock is our next hit. Next card, next to last card, we have Mitch Keller. Pulled a one of one of his earlier, one of one autograph of his, which is really nice. Hopefully it's not the only one of one of the night. And the last one for Will is Lewis Brinson. Lewis Brinson. So, Will, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And that's going to conclude the Bowman High Tech. We're going to move ahead now to select... 2020 select and we're doing that by the half box and uh, hopefully we find some good stuff in there we found um a jason dominguez autograph in our initial break of select from about oh what was that a week a week to 10 days ago or so so select is up next here are the participants again it's by the half box so we have sales and also Jim are going to be dividing this box up. Best of luck to you guys. What we'll do is just give you each six random packs. Let's see what we can do for you. Select with your Don Alvarez. How many boxes did I buy? Nolan, I just have one more case. What ended up happening with Select is um, one of my cases um, that I bought Select along with 2020 Bowman. And the uh, seller, instead of sending me the select, they waited for, to get their Bowman. As you know, Bowman for 2020 was delayed to some um, outfits and some companies. So um, my case got delayed. And instead of sending select, they lumped this in with Bowman. So I had to wait an extra few days. And I didn't have it for break day. So this is kind of like a leftover case. But there's some nice stuff in select. Let's count out the packs here. One, two, three, four, five, and you have a pack that fell down there. That's six for that side, and the packs always get mixed up. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, and six. So, Jim, we're going to save your packs. We'll put those over there. And uh, sales, AK Logan, you're going to go first. So, best of luck to you. Let's see what we can find in your um, spot. So, here we go. Get myself all organized. Hey, we have a visitor. Everybody keeps asking, where is Heather? Where is Heather? She's here. How's it going? Awesome. Very, very nice. We had an amazing box number three. Um, people are celebrating your arrival. You're just in time for select. You missed one case. Uh, we have three cases, and uh, we're just starting case number two. Had uh, some really nice autos, including a Beau Bichette auto, an Aloy Jimenez auto out of five. We also pulled a one-of-one one Mitch Keller, uh, Pirates' top prospect. People are celebrating right now. I'm going to pass the laptop over to you, Heather. Um, see, I tried to be organized for you. I, I, I even top-loaded the autographs, and I sleeved the cards up to make it a little bit easier. All right, so for all of you guys waiting... She has arrived, my lovely assistant. So here we go. Sales, you're up right now. Let's see what we can find for you. Um, did Heather bring luck with her? We shall see. All right, so we start off with Jorge Soler. We got Josh Rojas. Here's your hit. By the way, there are two autographs and two relics per box. 
The first hit's going to be a nice one. Jordan Alvarez, and it's his jersey. So, Jordan Alvarez, we are going... Heather, do you have this? Here, here we go. I'm going to do this for you, Heather, as you get logged in. Uh, we always top load big name relics, and this is going to be definitely top loadable. Jordan Alvarez, Rookie of the Year. I was hoping that um, we'd find some of his cards. He is also the cover boy, so there we go. Silent Collector likes that one. You also have Paul Goldschmidt and Patrick Corbin as well. I'm going to have to get used to having you here again, Heather, because I was just so used to like top loading and sleeping stuff. Did I do a good job, though? She's say, saying it looks nice, trying to be as organized as possible. All right, sales. Logan, you got your Don Alvarez leading things off already. You got TJ Zook is your next one. Bryce Harper, Aaron Nola, and you get a spacer. Glad to see the spacers because I do need those. My spacer pile from last select break is getting a little bit low, and I do like to use those for nameplates. You have a nice die cut card of Zach Collins, rookie card. And you Darvish is the last one right there for Logan. So you had one hit so far. Jordan Alvarez, you got a Julio Tehran is the next one. There's Starling Marte. Hit number two coming your way right now. It's going to be Michael Chavis, and it is an autograph. Michael Chavis, hit number two. Nice one right there. Mike Soroka, this one's going to be numbered out of 199. And Max Scherzer, so congratulations on that one. Uh, some nice stuff right there. So I know that uh, Jim's probably thinking, save some hits for me, please. That's uh, You got two of the hits. Let's see what you can find now in your next uh, pack. You got Tommy Pham. Looks like you have another hit. It's Jonathan Diaz, and that is going to be numbered out of 99. Jonathan Diaz, our next hit. Shogo Akiyama and Javi Baez. The RMM says it reminds him of Topps Chrome. Yeah, it's kind of like the select version of Topps Chrome. Next pack up, we have a Marcus Stroman, Gio Rochela, Shin Su Chu, JT Ramuto, and Jorge Polanco. And last pack for Logan. Let's see what we can find for you here. Did he get the fourth and final hit. Did he take all the hits? That ha happened with, I think, two of the boxes in our uh, other case break. It does happen from time to time. There's Kyle Lewis, rookie card, by the way. We pulled his autograph out of Bowman, which was a nice uh, surprise, getting that one. Kevin Biggio is a nice one. Hey, you got a spacer, so that means that Jim has a hit. Jordan Alvarez, Moonshots card is a nice one, and Logan Webb is the last one right there. So thank you very much for your participation. We'll get these Hand it off to Heather right now. By the way, that Paul Goldschmidt, I almost was remiss in showing, it is out of 50, which is a nice one for you, Logan. All right, Titus, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Jacob says, what a stack. Very nice. So I'm just going to clear some space, put that right there. All right, so we're going to move this over. Baseball card expert, how's it going? Jim, you're up right now. Best of luck to you. How much do these boxes usually cost? They're usually around $200 a piece. There's Dirk Remington and Rennie Perez. Thank you very much, guys. I hope you guys will check out Dirk Remington's channel. And also, Rennie Perez says, any spots left? Um, there are some spots of select left. I don't have it in front of me, but I do believe there's um, several spots. Like I said, we had some non-paying folks that reserve spots that didn't pay. So, Rennie, um, if you'd like to get in on this, you can go ahead and send over the payment. I think it was, uh, I forget, was it 105? I think it was 105 for this round of select. We have the hit. It's Brewstar Gratterall out of 250. It's a game used jersey. We got Bryce Harper and Albert Alzale as that pack for Jim. Next up, I see Matt Boyd on the back, flamethrower. There's Daddy Daughter Card Breaks. Thank you very much for dropping the link there if you'd like to check out their channels. I hope you guys will check out Rennie and Dirk's channels. Cole Hamels. That one is a nice prism. Mike Trout and Matt Boyd. What else do we have? Casey Walker with the $2 Super Chat. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that, Casey. Hope you guys will check out Casey Walker's channel as well. We got DJ LeMayhew. Are you checking out the a Heather's over there checking out that Aloy Jimenez? That's a nice one, huh? That's back when he's with the Cubs. Before he was traded for 
uh, Quintana there. We got Jose Altuve and Jordan Alvarez rookie card as well. Like that one. So we've got three packs left. Let's see what we can find in this box. Todd says it would be killer to find a Trout Auto. I'm hoping that we can find that one. Trout doesn't sign that often. Uh, Nick Ahmed, that's a blue prism. It is numbered out of 149. And there's Shohei Otani. That's the last card in that pack. All right, so here we go. Our next one, we got Sheldon Noisy leading things off. Then there is a Bryce Harper. I believe this is the case hit, by the way. Bryce Harper. We're going to get this one at the top. It's the Artistic Oppressions card. Uh, I believe we found Raul Acuna Jr. in one of our um, cases last week, which is a really nice one. I love the look of that card. There's Juan Soto and Herman Marquez as well. So, Jim, it's your last pack. Let's see what we can find for you. We have Kyle Seeger leading things off. Brad Keller is Colton Wong. You got a Moonshots, Josh Bell, and David Dahl. So Jim got the case hit there of Bryce Harper. And uh, the other hit in his box was Brewstar Gratterall. So that's our first box done of select. We'll get these passed off to Heather. Uh, baseball card breaks can be buy spot screen with the packs unopened. I usually, let um, me just send you like closed boxes you open them on your own I, I guess i could do that if you really wanted to next up we got lawrence and bill so box three and four or spot three and four gonna divide up this box glad to see bill back in the community you guys remember bill sites he's been a long time support of the channel uh since maybe my first break actually Back when I did 2016 Optic, a long, long time ago. So let's see what we can find. Take out these packs. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's Bill six as they got moved around. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six and six. We're going to start with Lawrence. Best of luck to you, Lawrence, in spot number three. Let's see what we can find for you. Uh, Ike says, did you pull any Eric Shower, Bernard Gilkey yet? Luckily, no. And you got Sean Murphy leading things off for you, Lawrence. Larry with the Sean Murphy. Nice rookie catcher there for the Oakland Athletics. We got Javi Baez and Patrick Corbin as well. How much is a spot of these? I think it was 105 for this round. All right, next up we got Cole Hamels, and you have another hit already, Glaber, and it's going to be Jonathan Hernandez, and it's an autograph hit. Very nice, Jonathan Hernandez, piece of his game-used Texas Rangers jersey, along with his auto there. Very nice, Larry. Congratulations on that one. Chip, that definitely is a cool one. I like those ones for sure. It's for half the box, Windex, half the box. You got a numbered Liam Hendricks out of 149. And you, Darvish, is the last one right there. Next up for Larry. Let's see what we can find for you. So we start things off with good old KB, Chris Bryant, Brandon Woodruff, and Joe Palumbo. So Joe Palumbo from the Texas Rangers. It's a Texas Rangers box. Two autos there, both coming from the Rangers. Let's see if Larry can leave a hit for Bill. Our next one, we got George Springer, Jose Abreu. There's the spacer. There's Chris Paddock. Not numbered. Nice prism card, though. Spacer alert. We'll toss that over there. Rafael Devers' Moonshots card is a nice one. Not numbered, but a nice prism card there. And Jorge Polanco. So I'm hoping that the fourth hit is going to be a nice big hit for sure. Let's see what we can find. Domingo Leyva rookie card. Jorge Soler led the league in home runs last year. And JT Real Muto is the last one. All right, Larry, let's see what we can find in your final, sixth and final pack. I see a Gavin Lux rookie card in the back, which is going to be good. Clayton Kershaw. And you did save a hit for Bill. So Bill's going to get a hit. And uh, I'm hoping... Hey, Jason Dominguez, Phenom's card. Pretty cool. Very nice. We're looking for his autograph. Um, very nice card right there. And Gavin Lux, so two nice cards to end off Larry's side of the box. Go ahead and pass these over to Heather. 
Um, Carrie says, fun video. Thanks for the entertainment. Thank you very much for the kind words. I really appreciate that. Thank you for being here. Now it's Bill's turn. Best of luck to you, Bill. Shane says, good luck, Bill. He does have a hit coming his way. We know that. It's likely to be a game-used jersey. I'm hoping that it can be... Bryce, that's a great deal for sure. I'm hoping that it's going to be a very big uh, M, like Hall of Fame type jersey. We've pulled, what, Randy Johnson out of this jersey. We've pulled uh, Ryan Sandberg. Let's see what we can do. TJ Zook, Bryce Harper, there's Sheldon Noisy, Trevor Story, and Albert Alzole. Next pack up. Let's see what we can do in spot number four. We have Aaron Nola leading things off. There's a Julio Tehran. Starling Marte, another spacer. So still waiting to see that hit there. Nick Solak select and Matt Boyd. Next pack up. Equan says, good luck, Bill. Got a Javi Baez. Kirby Yates, a really great closer. People forget about Kirby Yates. Um, look up his stats. He's off the charts. Pete Alonso, Sheldon Noisy, Mike Trout select stars, and Javi Baez as well. Next up for Bill. I don't see you're hitting this one either. It's going to be a thick pack, more than likely. It's going to be Tommy Pham, uh, Tyrone Taylor. Lee says, good morning. It must be Christmas because we... Uh, got an amazing gift to all of us. Smash that like uh, if you love Morning Breaks by Chavs Lee. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Marcus Stroman and Tony Gonsolin. There's your Jordan Alvarez rookie card, which is a nice one as well. The Gonsolin, by the way, is numbered out of 99. Rated rookie says, found out where all the 2020 bone in my area goes. It's the only card shop in town that's been taking everything off the shelves and reselling them. That's very, very uh, disconcerting. That's how it goes. I People are buying them and flipping them, and there's uh, there's no limits on how many you can buy, so people literally stand there for hours. <clears throat> Talked to a guy today that was doing just that. He said he'd been there for an hour and a half waiting because he'd been in another location and seen that they had stock there. He knew it because the housing boxes weren't there at 7.30 in the morning. He went back at 9.30, and they were there and completely empty, so he knew that the lady was in the area stalking, and he decided just to stake out um, Walmart. There's Ronald Acuna Jr. Moonshot, so he probably ended up getting all of them. So, Bill, you should have your hit in this pack. Todd says the Mega Box will be worse. Yeah, for sure. Those are going to be crazy. And it is a hit. I do see it. It's not a spacer. There's um, actually some printing on there. Juan Soto, your hit's going to be... Ronald Acuna Jr. Game used. Very nice hit right there. Congratulations on that one. Acuna Jr. is a big name for sure. And uh, I was hoping you get a hit like that. Congratulations, Bill and David Fletcher. This one's going to be numbered as well out of 199 in Logan Webb. So in a game used, Acuna Jr. jersey card for Bill. Like that one a lot. Hopefully we can find some Acuna autos. It's been a little while since I've pulled one of his autos. All right, so our next box, we got Braden and Dan splitting this one up. Let's see what we can find for you. Sonic Collector says, hot relics. Yeah, the relics definitely are very nice and select. They up their game a little bit. Their relics are better than Topps relics, in my opinion. Also, Panini always gives you more hits. That's kind of like their trade-off for not having the, uh, the logos. Let's see what we have here. We have a grand total of... One, two, three, four, five, and uh, I'm guessing that's six right there. And let's make sure Dan gets six as all. David says, I want that, Acuna. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so, Brayden, you're up first. <clears throat> Breakers, I just did it by the half box. Make it a little easier than selling it by the pack. I think what we'll do now, I think I'm going to go open them all at once and just do our super rips. Makes it a little bit easier. I can also read the chat as we go along when we do it this way. That's the way I typically do these. Andres, there are still spots available. If you'd like a spot, you can send the money over. If you brought into my breaks, you should have my account information there, my PayPal email address. And just make sure you put 2020 select as the note there. And uh, we'll add you to the uh, the rounds as we go along. Uh, just to show you what we've got going on. Looks like I've got 24 total spots, and we're sold down to, oh, like... 16, something like that. So there's plenty of spots. 
The ones that don't sell, I'm going to take those and put them into maybe a showdown Saturday at some point. Here we go. Jesus Lusardo is on the back. Brayden, best of luck to you. You got Michael Chavis leading things off. It's Jake Odorizzi. How much are Mega Boxes? Mega Boxes are going to be $19.99. Nice Aaron Judge. That one's a nice looking prism. And you also have a Glaber right after it. Uh, Kevin Newman, Kyle Hendricks, Willie Adames, Justin Turner, Garrett Cole now with the Yankees. 25 man card. Nice one right there. Omar Nevaez, Clayton Kershaw, Gary Sanchez, and you've got the first hit. It's going to be an A.J. Puck jersey card, it looks like. Let's check it out, flip it around. Maybe there'll be an autograph. As you know, sometimes these do have autos pasted on there with a sticker. It is a typical standard jersey. Still a nice one. Victor Robles, blue. That's going to be out of 149, 144 of 149. Have to look what happened to my finger. That's just the ink because I, I guess I don't know how to make those little cards that you make for me all the time. I miss the cap putting it back in. There's Glaber. You got another hit. It's a Hall of Famer one. Uh, at least I think it's a Hall of Famer. These are the really nice ones. It's an outfielder for it looks like the Braves. And these ones are typically Hall of Famers. I'm guessing. Who do you guys think? Andrew Jones is in a Hall of Famer. I could see him maybe being on a card. Maybe a Dale Murphy, also not a Hall of Famer. There's Christian Yelich. Mookie Betts, Chris Bryant, Brandon Woodruff, Mike Moustakis in his Reds uniform. We've got A. Eugenio Suarez. There's a Satsugo rookie card. Pete Alonso, Spacer, Kwon Hyun Kim, and Jesus Lusardo. So let's see who that is. I love these uh, Hall of Fame Spacers. Sam Muller says, Hank Aaron. Whoa, it could be Hammer and Hank. Sam, you might be right. Let's see if Sam's right. Thank you very much, Sam. It is going to be Kenny Lofton. When you when I think of Kenny Lofton, I do not think of the Braves. I wish that was Hank Aaron. Uh, it's a, a game-used bat. And by the way, Kenny Lofton probably should have gotten a longer look at the Hall of Fame. Had a really nice career. Had to bounce around a lot. But, um, yeah, why not just say the Indians there, Cleveland, because that almost looks like an Indian's uniform. Uh, Kenny Lofton uh, from the Braves there. Interesting that they didn't put him with the, the uh, Tribe. Out of 49, 5 of 49. Still a sick card for sure. I agree, Christopher's cool cards. So, Brayden, thank you very much. Batwood card, yeah, very nice. Uh, Jacob says, as an Indians fan, I am offended. And uh, I don't blame you, man. So, Dan, looks like you're getting both of the autographs. Let's see who they are. So, you guys know there's two autographs and also... Two relics per box. Todd, they're actually around seven thousand dollars a box. Nineteen seventy-seven. I offered five grand on a box, and they turned me down. I think it was like either sixty-five hundred or seven grand for a box, and I was like, I'm not paying that. They were four grand at the national last year. The baseball card exchange, seventy-seven boxes. Yes, Andres, one oh five per half box. I wish I would have bought it now. As a, everything from the baseball card exchange is going up. Uh, 1980 Toss boxes are popping up on eBay for like $3,500 now. They're just a little over $2,000 when I did them um, not too long ago. 77. I mean, it's a nice year, but I don't know if um, I don't know if we can afford 7K uh, for a box of cards unless it's 2011 Tops Update Jumbos. We have Trent Thornton, which is a nice one. There is a spacer. We have a Glaber, and this one is going to be out of 25. Very nice. Like that one a lot. We'll get that one sleeved up for Dan. How much are Mega Boxes? They're $19.99. They come out on Friday. And how about this one? Dan, a huge hit. Ken Griffey Jr. Game used autograph. The best hit from 2020 Select that I believe we found in three cases. There we go, Ken Griffey Jr., the kid, game used jersey and his autograph. Very, very nice with that one. That is a huge hit for Dan. Dan, if you're watching right now, congratulations on pulling the trigger on getting in this 2020 select. There's something that says OMG. Very, very nice. Love it. Monster Pool says Mr. K. Lots of OMG comments right there. Look at that signature on that. Ken Griffey Jr., beautiful looking car. Let's get this top loaded and then show it off. I don't think I have a one touch that thick. Uh, 357 Mega says Griffey Jr., holy cow. Yes, indeed, for Dan. 
Uh, Card Creator says, that's the best one yet. Ken Griffey Jr. And it's numbered out of 25. Very, very nice. Griffey Jr. out of 25. <clears throat> Love that. I don't have the one touch. I'd probably need about 138.1 touch or so for that one. I, I'm using 138 point uh, top loaders. It fits very nicely, uh, almost perfectly in there. Griffey Jr. And he's not done yet. Dan still has... Uh, the rest of the box. Lee says, value on that. What's a Griffey Jr. Uh, relic auto go for? Hits only. Thank you very much. Todd says, that's $500 on the card easily. Congratulations, Dan. Uh, $500 card right there. And he has another one. Logan Allen out of $199. Logan Allen. There's Daddy Daughter with Hits Only. Um, link if you'd like to check out. Hits only. I appreciate that. Daddy Daughter for dropping that in there. $700. Card Collector just looked it up on eBay. It's a $700 card. Dan, that might be your best hit ever with us. Congratulations. Huge hit right there. Let's check out the rest of your base cards. I do believe you found all of the good stuff in terms of um, the autos. Got Bo Bichette, Aristides Aquino. We'll sleeve those for you. Juan Soto, Anthony Rendon, Red. That one's out of 199. Silent Collector says, Jabs fans, na name all of very good players. Well, there's a ton of them. And um, Griffey is near the top of that list. Jacob says that uh, Griffey's only going to go up in value. Yeah, these cards have been going crazy. Um, especially his PSA 10s for sure. Dan, thank you very much. That is a beautiful card right there. Ken Griffey Jr. What do you think of that one, Heather? Nice one. She says that is a nice one. Shout out to you, Lando. So, James, you're up right now, and you have this entire box. So, spots seven and eight coming your way. Next box up. Let's see what we can find for you. Jordan Alvarez on the top. Uh, sure. Uh, Bryce says hi to you, Heather. Larry Joe, she waved her hand. Uh, and a hello, Larry Joe says, You the man, Jabs, that Jason Dominguez Phenom Refractor is going for 100 plus on eBay. Thanks. Wow, Larry Joe, that's crazy. I didn't even realize that would be going for that much. A nice hit right there for Larry. Um, thank you very much, Larry, for your support. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys will check out Larry's channel there. And I see that um, Lee says, I see Jabs losing his voice a bit. If this keeps up, that's a good sign of loads of fire. Yeah, that's for, for sure. All right, these uh, are all kind of messed up here. In the, it doesn't really matter. He gets the whole box. I was taking those out like I was going to divvy them up, six and six. Kenner says, thanks for all your hard work, Heather. She actually just ran some cards over to the holding room. She's got them all sleeved up as we go along, and she's taking them over. So here we go. James, James, you get all these. Let's see what we can find for you. We'll open up a stack and a stack. All right, so there's a nice Mike Trout card right there. The crazy to find one of his autos. Nelly Cruz is up next. Uh, Caden got a hot corner box yesterday and pulled a out of 50 card and an Eloy Jimenez. Very nice. Yeah, those new repack boxes are... Very nice as well. A lot of uh, 2019 Series 2 in there. All right, so we're going to break these one side at a time. Lee says that's a hot box. All right, so here we go. Get all of these wrappers thrown away. We'll do James left-hand side of the box. All right, so let's see what we can find here. We have Starling Marte. We got Tommy Pham. Uh, Matt Olson, that one's red. Uh, Jacob says, I'm really becoming a Panini fan. Great stuff. Yeah, they're doing their best to up their game and stay competitive with tops and trying to offset not having logos. There's a good old spacer. We'll toss it over in the spacer pile. Joseph, hello. Thanks for hanging out here tonight. Barry Larkin, former 95 Most Valuable Player and Hall of Famer. Barry Larkin out of 75. I like it. I like how they put these in there. It's a Hall of Fame set. Barry Larkin, of course. Kenny Lofton's not a Hall of Famer, but kind of like a legendary. Uh, I don't know what this is exactly called. 
uh, just the legendary uh, players. Uh, the nice Xander Bogarts out of 149. Todd says, my girlfriend says, wow, on the Griffey. That's pretty good. If your uh, girlfriend knows Ken Griffey Jr., she is a keeper for sure. That's awesome. Yeah, that's a beautiful-looking card. Another hit, Jose Abreu. This is going to be out of 250. It's his uh, jersey as well, so Barry Larkin and also Abreu. There's Jordan Alvarez, which is a nice one. TJ Zook, Albert Pujols. What else do we have? Jose Barrios, a spacer. Kibrut Ruiz, Nick Ahmed from this side of your box. Let's check out your other side. Joseph, I said hello to you, and here's your second hello. Thanks for being here. Got Luis Robert on the back. Nice hit right there. Jacob said Heather did bring some luck with her. What a case so far. Yes, she definitely did. Good job, Heather. She's shaking her head. Yes. All right, here we go. Two more. Blacktooth says, shout out to Spacers. Uh, Christopher says, select is loaded this year with TJ Zook. Yeah, we've seen a lot of him. What is one box you've never opened that's at the top of your wish list? Well, Jeff, realistically, um, I want to do 2011 Tops Update again. That's at the top of my list right now to open. I would obviously love to go back and do some 52 Tops or anything from the 50s because that would be crazy. But realistically... Um, I don't even know if the boxes like that are even still around. There's there was like a eight pack brick at the national for five hundred seventy five thousand dollars. Uh, fifty two tops. That's not even a box, but uh, that'd be crazy if somebody would stumble upon an unopened case in some back room in some old dusty store. Man, that would be the find of a lifetime. There's Luis Robert rookie card. We'll get that one sleeved up for you, James. James looking for his two autographs now coming out of this particular box he has the entire box there is a shun yamaguchi spacer alert trent thornton that one's going to be numbered aqua out of 35 nice low number there 10 of 35 jake rogers glaber torres chris bryant and your autograph is going to be zach gallon nice pitcher for the diamondbacks right there out of 199 i think you'll probably see him soon in the big league zach gallon is a highly regarded prospect I like that one a lot another autograph should be coming up right any second now, there's Bryce Harper Moon shot, and it is Gary Sanchez, the Sanchino out of 149. Nice looking card right there. Gary Sanchez autograph and jersey X Factor card. The Sanchino, like it a lot. Congrats on that one, James. And you got Jack Flaherty out of 50, 3 of 50 with AJ Puck. So nice box. We'll get all of these. Slid across the table here to Heather. Working on them right now. Just going to make sure I make the stack nice and neat for you, Heather. And James, you are officially off the clock. Uh, like I said, just got back a 91 Fleer Sid Bream graded. Came back gem mint toilet paper. I'm about to put it on eBay. Good old 91 Fleer. One of my favorites. For a second there, I thought you seriously graded a, a 91 Fleer card. The only cards gradable from 91 Fleer are maybe the black bordered insert cards. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't waste your time. Anthony, A.K. Audrey's up next. And Ben, you're also up, but we're going to do Audrey's packs first. Let's see what we can find for you. Card Collector says that Gary Sanchez is about a $25 card, not too shabby. All right, so let's count them out. We have from this side one, two, three, four, five, and this will be pack number six. And then over here we got one, two, three, four, five, six. These ones will go to Ben. These ones will go to Audrey, a.k.a. Anthony, Anthony slash Audrey. Let's see what we can find for you. We'll start with your packs first. Uh, Stavon said, how offended would you be to find a graded 91 Fleer in those Gems of the Games? Yep, those Gems of the Game packs at Walmart or boxes, they're uh, repack boxes. They put like nine, not 93, 2012 triple play in there. They put Honus bonus cards in there, and then they slap you in the face with some 91 Fleer graded cards. That would be awful. They'd probably be BCCG graded Fleer cards. And that would be quite interesting, and uh, I would love to open that up just to um, get a reaction on that one. I don't know how I would handle that. 
Uh, Jacob says, thank you, Jazz, for saving us all from resorting to buying Fairfield. Yeah, the Fairfield boxes, I gave those a 6 out of 10. You'll have to check that out. New release. Fairfield just came out with these new yellow releases. Andres, I'll check that out here once we get to the blank spacers, and I'll add you. Thank you very much. As we go through Audrey's, uh, what do we have here? There's Marco Gonzalez. That one is numbered out of 35. Very nice. Are there any rookies in 91 Fleer? No, not really anything much in 91 Fleer at all. It's a terrible set. Giveaway is coming up, Caleb. That'll be at the end of the break. So, and Yvonne Rodriguez. So, a nice Hall of Fame relic right there. Yvonne Rodriguez. Pudge. Audrey says, come on, Jason Dominguez. Audrey looking for the Dominguez. Uh, you're going to have to settle at least for right now with Rodriguez. Yvonne Rodriguez, a nice card right there. Let's see if we can find you, the Dominguez. we got Zach Gallen. Uh, we already pulled one Dominguez out of this, and it was, uh, for, I think Larry Joe said, it's a $100 card. There's Sam Hilliard out of 250 So you've got two of the hits, two relics. Let's see if you have an autograph in there as well. Uh, there's a Jonathan Daza, Buster Posey. There's Hater, Michael Brantley, Kyle Lewis, rookie card, Raphael Devers. Spacer is where the hit would be, so likely no hit in this one. Kibut Ruiz and Nick Ahmed for Audrey. So congrats on your Yvonne Rodriguez. And so, Ben, that means you have the two autographs, so congratulations on that. Now let's just see who they are. Six packs. She thought it was awesome, Ike. She thought it was awesome. I, I sent. I don't know if you guys are all Patreon members, but um, some of you might be. You probably saw Ike's painting on Fan Mail Friday in the Patreon-only video from last week. He, he did an amazing Mike Trout painting. And I uh, really, really appreciate that, man. Daddy Daughter saw He said, it was amazing. Yeah, it was. All right, so here we go with... Box number, oh, I think this is box number five, spot number 10 in our select. Daddy Sasquatch is here, says, I had to medicate to bring my heart rate down after the junior auto. Don't worry, I'm fine now. Also, I posted my first video yesterday and another tonight. I need clicks for my self-esteem. Hey, Daddy Sasquatch is here and he's posting content now. Thank you very much, Dwayne. I hope you guys will check out Dwayne, a.k.a. Daddy Sasquatch. If uh, Heather, would you like to drop his link in there? Or, or, um, Daddy Daughter, you guys can check out there. Daddy Daughter's got it. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Daddy Daughter. If you'd like to click on that link right there from Daddy Daughter, that will get you to Dwayne's channel. I sent Daddy Daughter your cheat sheet that you use. Some people wonder how Heather's so darn quick at getting the links up there. She uh, so organized. She has all of your links all nice and organized into a document. Just... Uh, amazing uh work there heather i almost said craftsmanship but that wouldn't make any sense whatsoever all right so here we go gary sanchez by the way heather and i ate at a restaurant today can you believe that we ate in an actual restaurant uh sat down and had mexican food down in morgantown where everything's opened up now uh there was luis robert we went on a hike to Cooper's Rock, and it's an amazing area. If you guys um, can check that out, you, it's like a whole city of rocks, a whole like network of labyrinth um, going down, almost like cave-like there. Really cool stuff. Fernando Tatis Jr. is a nice one. Sean Murphy, Kirby Yates. Ben, you should have some autos coming up. Now you got a numbered orange here, Sean Murphy rookie card. That one's going to be out of 20. Three of 20. Get that one sleeved up for sure. There we go. Kyle Lewis. Kyle Lewis autograph. Very nice. It's our second Kyle Lewis. We pulled him out of 2017 Bowman High Tech. And uh, it says Jersey and his auto right there. So congrats on that one. We'll get that one top loaded up. There's a Hanser Alberto blue prism. Out of 149, AJ Puck rookie card is a nice one. Jack Flaherty and Bruce Star Gratterall autograph as well. So both of your hits, Drip345, thank you very much for joining up. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys will check him out. I hope you can participate in some of the breaks. And uh, Bruce Star Gratterall, so two autograph relics, kind of nice there. Check out the rest of your cards. Adrian Moore, John, we pulled his autograph as well out of... 
Bowman High Tech tonight. Ben, thank you very much. I hand these bad boys off to Heather, and we move on now to Brian. Spot number 11, and Chip is back. Spot number 12. Chip was in the 2017 Bowman break, had a nice box 11. Let's see if we can give you another nice box, or at least half box here. Spot number 11 and 12 as we slice open the box. Thank you, Myas. Thank you to all 217 folks that have hit that thumbs up button. And Todd says, Jabs, I've been a subscriber for two years, and the Griffey was one of the best hits ever. The uh, Dan T with the huge hit. I have all Dan's stuff here. I'll show you one more time. Sitting right off to my left right now. I keep staring at it lovingly. Ken Griffey Jr., um, Amazing hit right there for Dan. Awesome, awesome stuff. Love that. So, Brian, let's pull out six packs for you. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know what's going on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, one of these goes over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just got to double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we're good to go. Six and six. Those packs got all jumbled up in there. Todd says, I'm extremely jealous and crying about it, <laughs> Ken Griffey Jr. Maybe Dan can uh, be kind of coaxed into giving that card up. I think you guys said it's $700, though. A huge hit right there from Dan, or for Dan. Love that Griffey. Brian's up right now. Let's see if he can pull anything near the Griffey. I'm, I'm sure he's looking for a Dominguez uh, who has autos in here. Rob, you missed some good stuff tonight. Griffey Jr. autograph relic. Some nice stuff out of Bowman High Tech. Two, two Glaber Torres autos tonight. Bo Bichette auto. Aloy Jimenez auto out of five. Having some great stuff. Brian, let's see what we can find for you. All right, so there's a nice Ramon Laureano. This one is going to be numbered out of 99. There's a Jesus Osarda rookie card. I love him, so I'm sleeving his card up for you. John Means, who's an all-star. Hey, how do you get in on this break? Well, to get in on the break, you have to be a Patreon member and uh, sign up for it there. There will be a couple spots left. We got a Rico Garcia spacer, which we'll toss in the spacer pile. There's a Bregman. There's Daddy Daughter with the link there. Thank you very much, Daddy Daughter. Make sure you check out that link. Uh, it's a Moonshots card out of 10. Five of 10. Um, the link is for signing up for Patreon if you'd like to get into any of the breaks. A really low number Bregman there. I know people hate Bregman, but still a low number there. We have Randy Arozarena out of 99. It's an autograph right there from the Tampa Bay Rays. Very, very nice. If you'd like to get in on the breaks, check out the Patreon page. The link is in the description of this video, or you can check out Daddy Daughters, uh, who just dropped it in the chat. Brandon Woodruff, that's out of 49, and they are loading us up now with autograph relics. Brandon Woodruff. So, Brian, very nice run there. You got both of the autographs and a numbered out of 10. Uh, toss that aside. You got a Mankata. Number out of 10, Bregman. Nice stuff right there for you, Bri. So thank you. Now that means that two relics are coming the way of Chip. Maybe one of them will be one of those Hall of Fame relics. At least I sure hope so. We'll find out right now. Chip was probably sitting there like, please don't get all four hits. Please don't get all four hits. That's the way it sometimes goes. All right, so you will have two of the hits. They are likely to both be relics, but we will see. I still can't get into this break, says Gavin. Well, what happens is um, you sign up for the breaks with your PayPal uh, before the breaks start. It's just a lot easier. And then I send you an invoice, and that phase of the breaks have already been filled. All right, so let's see for Chip what we can find for you. Two hits, two... Uh, relics, more than likely. Hopefully they're good ones. Let's see. There's Austin Meadows, who I love. Tim Anderson, your batting champion. There we go. Jalen Davis from the Giants is the first one. So I am hoping you have a nice big hit coming your way. Andre, so w w I will check if your payment came in after we get to the blank spacers. I'll just go to my PayPal and see. Because there's also folks that request breaks and then they don't pay. And sometimes they pay after the break even started. And I have to check the check it out and add them there's matt boyd a spacer 
Isan Diaz. Where's the other hit? There should be one more relic coming out of this. Nice Gary Sanchez. This one is out of 149. There's Chris Paddock. And they ripped us off. What the heck? There was only two autographs and one relic in there for Chip. So, Chip, that really burns me up inside. How do we need to do something about this? Um, can you make sure that Chip gets... We're going to send you the UPC from the box that they shorted us and uh, probably do something else too because that is really crappy. Now, the bad thing about it, Chip, I know that Top says when you get shorted a hit, Tops makes you send the UPC and uh, they'll make it up to you. I don't know if Panini does that because Panini is a little, uh, I, I don't want to say smart, but they do say on average, so they might smarmily say, well, it does say on average... Ryan and Jacob are up next. And then after that, we'll check out for Andres. And then we have those open spots. Uh, if we have folks that paid in, I believe Andres said that he did. We'll give you six packs out of there and anybody else that wants to get in. And then we'll move on to the Prism Draft Picks. Yeah, I mean, this is a higher-end product. It's like $200 a box. Jacob says, come on, let's get some... Early birthday goal. Happy early birthday to you. Let's see what's going on here. These packs are all screwed up and falling every which way. I'm guessing this one goes like this and this one goes like this. Let's count them out and see what's going on. We got one, two, three, four, five, six for Ryan. And over here, let's count these bad boys out as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, Jacob, there's your six. Ryan, here's your six. Let's see what we can find now for you. Ryan, you're up first. Lucky number 13. See if it ends up actually being a lucky number for you. Some people fear that number. Some people don't. So here we go. Ryan, spot number 13. Six packs, four total hits. Card Collector says, uh, who's been here since the start of the stream? If you have been, thanks very much, guys, for spending the last oh, about uh, almost two hours exactly with us. We've got this, and then we have 48 packs of Prism, which those might just fly on by just because uh, there's only, I think there's eight cards per pack. One autograph per pack, though, which is nice. We'll be looking for Jason Dominguez auto and Adley Rushman out of there. All right, Ryan, let's see what we can find for you. Luis Castillo, Max Schroeder, Dustin May rookie card, Nico Horner rookie card, Brian Reynolds, there's a spacer, Domingo Leyba, let's check that one out. Lots of color going on there. It's out of 20. Nice numbered card there. Jose Barrios. Zach Collins from the White Sox already pulled his. This one is Zach Collins uh, Auto Game Use Relic. Very nice. Like that one a lot. Uh, Armando says, I just got blanked over on a break and my spots got sold twice. Armando, I'm sorry to hear about that. Uh, let us know more. Uh, hopefully, you get your money back and don't get shorted whoever you broke with. We got Michael King from the Yankees auto. So this uh, case is loading us up with relic autos. That one, by the way, is numbered out of 209. Zach Wheeler, Sonny Gray. So I know that Jacob's probably thinking, please no more hits. Save some for me. Colton Wong, Frankie Lindor, Brendan McKay rookie card. Justin Turner, and there's the spacer. Uh, Steven Strasburg, Scott Kerry. Armando says, I feel sick now. $60 gone. Haven't heard of thing. Sorry about that, Armando. Um, hopefully it gets taken care of. Um, you're a great dude, and um, I, I'll just keep trying to get a hold of them. All right, next up we have Jacob in spot number 14, and uh, then I'm going to check for Andres and anybody else that sent payment in. You should have two in here. That's um, what... We would expect. Now, the last box we saw only had one relic in it, so hopefully that doesn't happen again. Sometimes with Penny, you get an extra hit. That's always nice when that happens. On average, yep, that's the key word there, Robert, on average. All right, so here we go. I 
Jason Dominguez base just went for six dollars on an auction. That's crazy. That's usually about a thirty dollar card. Card collector. Uh, was it misspelled wrong? I wonder why that went for so cheap. Maybe there's so many out there that people listen to them and trying to flip that card for money that they just miss it. Juan Soto, Jacob, a nice Juan Soto game used relic. Very nice. Congrats on that one. Chris Paddock numbered card as well out of 149. Like that one a lot. Soto is a nice one for sure. One of the greats uh, of today's game well, already. And he's only 21 years old. Domingo Leyba, so there's your second hit. So you did get your two hits. Let's see if Soto is the best one. Justin Dunn pulled his autograph already back with the New York Mets. That one's not numbered though. Pulled him out of 2017 Bowman High Tech. It's a Christian Yelich prism card, a spacer, Kyle Lewis, John Means. We got a Jesus Lusardo red. That one's going to be numbered out of 199. Alex Bregman, Giolito, Bo Bichette rookie card is a nice one as well for Jacob. Another Juan Soto, and you say Kikuchi as well. So I'll pass these over to Heather. Hey, Heather, I'll trade you for my computer. I'm just going to go into my um, PayPal page and double check. I know that we had some folks that did not pay for their break. And also, I believe Andre said that he sent payment in. So I just want to go and verify that real quick. Of course, I'm going to have to go through all the rigmarole, which was a word that my grandma used to use all the time, of um, looking up, uh, signing back into PayPal here. So I see uh, Will King and I see Braden Turberville again. Will, uh, Bill Seitz and Andres Gallardo Rodriguez. So, Braden, are you here right now? Would you like to get back into this box? I, I think you said you'd send another one because you wanted to have a full box for yourself, but then we would have had to rearrange everything. You're already locked in there. So I see three more folks that have sent payment for Select. Braden Turberville, Bill Seitz, and Andres. Okay, Braden's in for another half. You got it, man. You have box number 15. Or spot number 15, best of luck to you. Anybody else that wants to get in right now, you can go ahead and send the payment, and uh, I will add you in the order that you come up. Bill Seitz, you are next. Uh, by the way, I think we have him. Do we have him under William or Bill? I can't remember. I want to make sure that it goes to the same. We have shelving units that are organized by first name. It's this awesome sy system that Heather came up with. Just makes it easy to send all of your breaks together. Andres, you are number 17. 105 per half box for this. I'll take care of the shipping. <laughs> all right, so here we go. The next box up. Splitting up between Braden and <laughs> Bill. <laughs> Ike says, enough with the ballyhoo jabs. It's becoming a spectacle. <laughs> nice uh, vocab there. I love all the old timer words. What else did my grandma used to say? Used to, she used to say a lot of cool things. Here's that back. Thank you very much. Bearded Collector says, Hey, Jabs, love the content. I'm 22 subscribers away from 100. I hope you guys will help out Bearded Collector. Looks like Daddy Daughter is already there. Thank you very much, Daddy Daughter. I really, really appreciate that. I hope you guys will check out Bearded Collector. Daddy Daughter's got the link. All right, so let's see now what we can find. I hope you guys can help Bearded Collector reach that 100 mark. That is, uh, and Zachary, thank you very much. What a bunch of hoopla, says Robert. That's another good one. KM, I can see your chat just fine. Uh, for some reason, you probably can't. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, Brayden. This one feels like a book or something. This is extremely thick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like, uh, let's take look how thick this pack is, Braden. There's something going on with this one, so it's a good thing you uh bought in there. You uh, maybe a book. I, I have a feeling you might have a book. That's gonna be fun. That could be huge. That could be absolutely huge. Braden says, Pull me some fire. Let's count Bill. One, two, three, four, five, six right there for Bill. All right, so here we go. We'll save your, your quote-unquote book pack for last. I can't guarantee it's a book, but it's it's literally the size of two... It's, it's thicker than two packs. I, I mean, you can't see that, but... All right, so here we go, Brain. Let's, let's do it. Lee says, I can't wait to see this. Me either. I would love to find a nice one-of-one. One. Nathan says, it's an Ichiro book. Todd says, do the book. Do the book now. 
Uh, we'll get to it in a second. I, sometimes when I know there's something good coming, I like to save it for last. Curtis says, this is a hot box. We shall see. Hopefully it's not just like five spacers stacked onto each other. Maybe like a factory error five spacer pack. Here we go. So we'll, we'll save that one for after we get through your base cards. There's one spacer. J.D. Martinez Prism. T.J. Zook. Abraham Toro. That's a nice one from the Astros. It's number, by the way, out of 199. It's going to be an auto. Abraham Toro. Congrats on that one. Bryce Harper, Aaron Nola, Nico Horner, rookie card. Not numbered. Nice prism card, though. Garrett Cole, A. Eugenio Suarez. Got a Jacob DeGrom. I think this one's numbered out of 50. Yep, 30 of 50. Like that one. Brian Reynolds, another autograph. Randy Arozarena. So uh, it's going to get really interesting right now. Uh, you got two autos. What could that last one possibly be? We got Chris Sale out of 199 and Alex Bregman as well. All right, so Braden, this is your super fat pack. KM says, I swear, if it's a spacer. Oh boy. What do we have here? What do we have here? What the heck? It's like a bunch of base cards. What is going on? What is going on? I'm so excited for this. Talk about a uh, huge let letdown there. Well, no, you got Mike Piazza and a spacer. No wonder it was so thick. And an Aquino. Wow, so the factory screwed up. They gave you a spacer, a Piazza, and an Aquino all in the same pack there. A huge mess up on the uh, packaging uh, department at Panini. Very screwed up. Um... I, I thought we had a booklet there, but still you get a Hall of Fame Mike Piazza and a top rookie right there. Very, very nice. Um, so a nice uh, bit of luck there for Braden. Congratulations on that. Now let's hope that that mess up doesn't affect Bill and uh, there's actually some stuff for him. We'll see. Maybe uh, Brain got everything in the box in terms of the hits. Now let's check out Bill. And see what we can find. Braden says, thanks, you're welcome. Hey, you're eating some animal crackers, huh? Can I have one of those bad boys? Thank you very much. Maybe that was a bad idea. Now my mouth is gonna be all dry. I know, Abraham Toro, huh? Huh? I might be okay, Heather. There was only one animal cracker. Got the um, cracker mouth now. All dry mouth. Probably be like spitting cracker all over the my phone here. All right, so here we go. If anybody else wants to split the next box with Andres, it's 105. And um, when Heather gets back, if you want to drop my PayPal email address in there for folks, I think somebody asked how much they could pay. Hey, here we go. We have another hit. I was worried there that all the hits would be gone. Yeah. It's Davey Gruyon. So the hits are still there. Or at least one of them. Hey, OMG is here. Says, hey, Jabs, I've been enjoying the select cards. Missed this one, but looking forward to the next one. Good luck, everyone, and stay safe. Hit that like button. OMG Card Pools, thank you very much. I hope you guys will check out OMG Card Pools. He does great work over there. There's Heather with my PayPal for you. And Daddy Daughter Card Breaks right on it with the link there for OMG. We had a lot of people saying OMG tonight, especially when we pulled the Ken Griffey Jr. Um, the live chat, I probably saw OMG written about, I don't know, a dozen times. What else do we have? Uh, we have a Yasmani Grandal, Howie Kendrick, Walker Bueller, that is a blue out of 149. Ronald Acuna Jr., DJ LeMayhew, Keston Hira, Machado, and Ronald Bolanos. There's Daddy Daughter with OMG card pulls if you'd like to check him out. So, Bill, that's your box. There we go. Next up is Andres and Mystery Person, a.k.a. Next Person to Pay into the Break. If it is somebody, we will do it. If not... Uh, we will not. Can I see my PayPal to see if any payment has come through? 
I'd like to check first, just to make it a little uh, easier. After Andres, I'm just looking at my um, transaction history and see if anybody else paid their payment. Some folks, I think, get a request and they forget to check their email and, and pay it. Um, looks like, uh, no, I don't have anyone after Andres. So I'll do Andres and we'll see what we have going on. If uh, there's no other folks to get in, then we it's 105 per half box. If nobody else gets in, we'll move on to the, the Panini Prism draft picks and finish up the night there. Richard wants one. OMG says, I'll take it. I can send the payment now. Okay, OMG, go ahead, send it on over. Yeah, I still have three boxes left besides this one, so OM OMG will add you to the list. One, two, three, four, five. And it looks like that last pack fell down there. The six. And there's Daddy Daughter with OMG card pulls. If you'd like to check him out once more, I hope you will. Make sure there's six for OMG. One, two, three, four, five, six. Silent Collector with a crazy looking no nose, no mouth uh, emoji. Thank you very much for that. I hope you guys will take a second and check out Silent Collector. And J-Bomb and Sun says, let's hear it for our rated rookie mod. Daddy Daughter card breaks. Well done, man. J-Bob, thank you very much. There's Daddy Daughter with the link to J-Bob's channel or Silent Collector. I'm not sure which one that is. Uh, one of those two for sure. Uh, Eric, yeah, you can send it over and we'll get you in. And uh, Gavin said he paid, so it looks like we are doing another one. Chip, 210 for the whole box. Yep. Let's see now what we can do for Andres. There we go. J-Bob. Da Daddy Daughter's got J-Bob right there. If you'd like to check out uh, J-Bob's channel, there's the link. How does your Patreon send to Australia? Jake, it's crazy to send to Australia. I, I sent a package to Australia uh, two months ago. It cost me like $95. So what happens is if you get stuff every month, like some members of Patreon are on the tier that – get stuff every, uh, I don't know, like six, eight packs a month or whatever. Um, I save those and those build up over like a course of like six months to send to Australia and then I send them. Then Canada, I usually do every three months because international shipping is crazy and I don't charge anything extra for shipping. I just, you know, send them off each month to the U.S. folks. All right, so let's see what we have here. Andres, you're up. You got a nice Luis Robert. Teddy Halpin is here. Teddy says, hey, Jabs. Love your vids. I had to stop watching your vids over the November to February stretch because of baseball recruitment. And then I came back and you've gotten more dislikes than you used to. Is there a reason? Teddy, the bigger you get, the more you, you attract haters, unfortunately. There's a Trent Grissom. Thank you very much. I hope you can go back and double check all of the uh, old videos that you missed. There's Trent Grissom out of 199. Thanks to everyone that still likes the videos. Usually we're about anywhere between 90 95% likes. So I appreciate all of you guys that do hit that thumbs up button. Michael Brantley out of 199 is a nice one. Will Castor, yeah, that's another thing. The views are up, so more views, more dislikes, unfortunately. But that's the way it goes. Uh, they're still watching, at least. There's Tariq Scooball Phenom's card. Edwin Rios, that one is uh, from the Los Angeles Dodgers. So you got two autos there. Let's leave some for our next buyer whoever that is i'll check the paypal account that you know keichel betts verlander chavis odorizzi there's an au henio suarez aaron judge and chris sale so two hits are coming to our mystery person so congratulations andres on getting t the two autos out of the box nice rookie autos i'm gonna go back into my paypal and see who's got the next spot i think omg said he had it next all right, let's go to the good old refresh button and see what we've got coming up. Let's see who's get, getting this particular spot. I see that we have, it is going to, it looks like, um, I'm going to show it to you here. Um, how can I do that without exposing your information? Uh, there we go. Let's go around the side here. Looks like, Gavin, you just barely beat Sunshine Comics. So, Gavin, you get this one. Sunshine Comics is um, OMG card pulls. So, you beat them. I always go in the order that you guys pay. It's just uh, the easiest way to do it. So, Gavin M., you're up right now. And then, OMG, you have spot number 19 coming up. And then, after that, it's Chip. OMG card pulls. 
And then Chip, you want the whole box, right? So um, I'm, I think what we'll do for you, Chip, is that other half box, spot number 20. If you agree to this, man, spot number 20, I'll save uh, and not, I'll just put the packs aside and I'll send them off in Patreon pack, packages or whatever, and I'll give you a whole box all to your lonesome self. Um, so you'll make sure that you get everything. That's what we'll do. So you got the whole box. I'll make sure that way uh, you don't get two halves and then possibly not get all four hits. So Gavin, best of luck to you. OMG's got 19. Spot number 20's floating out there in the wind. Yeah, we always do the breaks afterwards. So for those of you that keep asking, when are you going to give away the Electric City um, subscription box? We do that at the end. All right, so here we go for Gavin. Should be two relics in here. OMG Carpool says, good luck, Gavin. Hope you get some fire. Looking forward to some fire. OMG Carpools, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Again, I hope you guys check out OMG Carpools. He's in the on-deck circle in the next box with um, nobody yet. Um, like I said, if no one buys it, I'll keep those packs and ship them off to some Patreon patrons at random. There's Mookie Betts. That one is Game Use Relic. Nice former MVP Austin Meadows out of 99. Ike says, what kind of jiggery pokery is going on here? There's Daddy Daughter with the link to OMG if you'd like to check him out. Aaron Savali, that one's numbered out of 250, so that's the second hit. We also have Bo Bichette, which will get sleeved up as well. Justin Turner, Mike Clevenger, Austin Meadows, Nico Horner, Joey Votto, 2010 MVP, another Bo Bichette, so two Bichettes, a nice hot rookies card right there, Brock Burke. There's Belly Bombs, pulled his card out of 2017. High Tech earlier, Nico Goodrum, that one's going to be numbered out of 149. And the last one there is Danny Mendix, so there's a good one. Todd says, Dag Navit, I used to love that one too. That's a good one. Love all the old timer expressions. Um, Heather and I went to uh, Cooper's Rock today, and this old, this old guy, or el elderly fellow, came up to us. And at first, we thought we were going to get in trouble because he he looked very professional. We thought he was a park ranger and was going to tell us to get out because uh, we weren't sure. We saw all these signs saying you must be a West Virginia resident to camp overnight. So we. Thought we were going to get asked for our IDs and told to leave. We're just kind of hanging there on Cooper's Rock. But he ended up being a paratrooper, fought for our country and everything. And he actually asked to take our picture, which was pretty cool. And that's actually happened twice in the last two days. Our random strangers come up to us and ask to take our picture. Um, I guess we're very photogenic, huh? So, OMG card pools. You're up right now. You get the left-hand side. That's uh, $105 per half box. Sonic <laughs> Collector says, nobody does that. <laughs> Well, I guess it's a thing because it's happened the last two days. We went for a walk yesterday on a trail, Greater Allegheny Passage, and this lady came up with a, what, 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 a disposable camera from like 2001 and asked to take our picture, which was pretty funny. Uh, so I gave her a big old cheesy smile. All right, so OMG, let's see what we got. We got one. What is going on with these packs? They're all every which way. One, two, three, four. Five. And it looks like this pack fell over six. Ike says, you guys are the bee's knees, I guess. Ike's got all of the uh, old-timer expressions. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, this one feels kind of thick. Maybe a relic in there. And these six, if anybody submitted a payment, uh, we'll do those. Otherwise, I'll just send them off to Patreon, folks. OMG's up right now. Dave M says, I have a friend who yells peaches and cream instead of cursing. That's that's a good way to do it. Some people always use those um, um, substitute words. And I, I also use substitute words every now and then. Like, what the heck? All right, so here we go. OMG card pulls, and then it'll be time to do chips box. And then we'll move on to Prism, and I'll, I guess I'll save that last select box, maybe toss that into a Saturday showdown with all the numbered cards. That'll be a fun one. We got Javier Baez right there. Shut the front door is another one people say all the time. All right, so a nice big stack. So probably some spacers in here, maybe some 
relics as well for the thickness of this stack. There we go. Dennis Eckersley off the very top. Hall of Fame relic right there. There's Eck. Like that one a lot. Congrats on the Dennis Eckersley. OMG. Uh, we have Marcus Semyon out of 199. That's also a very a sleepable card. Gary Sanchez Green. Check out the back of that one. That's out of 99. Patrick Corbin, Joe Palumbo, Michael Chavis. There's Odorizzi, a spacer. Nico Horner, Logan Webb. Get out of town is another funny one that the old timers used to say. Hey, you got another hit. It's a Jose Abreu. Jose Abreu game used jersey. Jordan Alvarez, Javi Baez, Davey Gruyon, Jonathan Gray. And then we have a spacer, JT Realmuto, and you Darvish as well. So we know one thing out of this box is for certain. Um, there are going to be two autographs in that stack as OMG found the Dennis Eckersley game use relic, which was nice. And that, um, that last stack is going to, um, I guess somebody's going to get some good luck coming their way. It looks like Chip is going to have his whole box coming up. We're going to do his box right now. Thank you very much. Heather just handed me the last two boxes. So, now, uh, by the way, OMG, if you wanted to buy that stack to make sure you get the autos, I would allow you to do that. Thank you very much, Heather, for your help. Chip, you're up right now, so I just have to get situated here. If you want to send over, I'll make sure you get that so no one can steal your two autos because we know there's two autos there. I'm, um, all right, so this spot is going to, and this will be the last of the select. I'll save that last box for myself, a.k.a. Saturday Showdown. Chip Brandon is up right now. Thank you very much, Heather. Chip Brandon. OMG <laughs> Carpel says, let's do it, rip it. I'll put it aside for you. Yeah, you, I think that would only be fair to give you the first shot at that box if you wanted it. So no one else sends a payment and grabs that off of you. All right, so here we go. We good, Heather? Okay, thank you very much. Chip gets all of these. There we go. All right, Chip, best of luck to you. So we have, I guess we'll just do it like we have. I just say, any of you boys Smithies? <laughs> I can't even read that. I'm, I'm just, it's like another language now. Uh, Billy Brave says, I've been gone for a while. Who's Heather? Heather's my lovely assistant. And uh, helps me out with all these breaks. Have I checked the green for a Walmart lately? No. Uh, I was probably there like, uh, I don't know, maybe on Monday. And there's literally nothing there at all. All right, Chip, we're doing it one side at a time. How about an AJ Puck to lead things off? Nice relic right there. Brennan McKay, that one's going to be numbered out of 199. Like that one a lot. And we have Brennan McKay again. It's his jersey. Like that one as well. Acuna Jr. So you got two hits already. There's the spacer. Spacer alert. Goodrum. Nick Ahmed Green. That one is going to be out of 99. How am I choosing the writings? I sold these on Patreon. And then there are some spots left over. Shamanaya. So I sold those off. But um, we're all spoken for with Select. Uh, we don't have any other that we are going to be selling right now. I have one box left I'm just going to save for myself and maybe toss it into a, um, a Saturday showdown because I like all the numbered cards that Panini does give you. Chip, you're up now with your second half of the box. Let's see what we can find for you. Should be some autos on this side. Do I think Shohei cards will bounce back? Ask TK. I think that they will because I think that Shohei is going to be a good one for sure. Andrew says a one of one is coming up. I hope you're right, sir. That would be awesome. 
We have found one one of one tonight thus far. It came out of 2017 Bowman High Tech. It was a one of one Mitch Keller autograph. And um, I was almost losing my mind because the box that it came out of was crazy good. Just like, I could not believe how good the box was. It was box number three of the night. You can check that out uh, later on, I guess. It was uh, the best 2017 box that I've ever opened. All right, so your auto should be coming in here. Hopefully you have at least one good one. Saul said, I lost my mind. Yeah, no doubt for sure. There's AJ Puck, which is a nice one. We'll get that one sleeved up. Spacer. Stroman out of 20. 7 of 20. Mitch Garver. Alberto Mondese. Here comes your hit. It's going to be a Juan Soto autograph. Very nice. Juan Soto, Chip, congratulations on buying the box. I know that Chip kind of had, uh, was a tip that got shorter, shorter to hit before. Uh, how about that one? Juan Soto, I'm pretty sure that Chip got sor uh, shorter to hit, and I was all mad about it. And uh, he pulls a beautiful, uh, like an atomic cracked ice out of 25, Juan Soto. What does this one go for, guys? Juan Soto, Shy City Pools, with the dollar sign emoji. Chip says, H, yeah. Mike says, you scared me again. Awesome, Pool. What does the Soto Cracked Atomic, Cracked Ice Atomic go for? Let me know. He's got another hit coming his way. There's Daddy Daughter with the link there to um, Shy City Pools. I hope you'll check out Shy City. Red Sox Collector says it's a million-dollar card. He's got another one. It's Lewis Thorpe, so not quite the uh, same um, star power right there at all, but still a gorgeous-looking Juan Soto card as we go through. It's a $90 card, says Ryan. Uh, are you sure it's out of 25? Make sure you check that out as well. Usually when cards are out of 25, it increases their value quite a bit. Uh, Joey says uh, $90 card, so still nice. Congrats on that, Chip like that one a lot that is a sticker on that one chip says excellent i will take that one it's 199 dollars. buy it now on ebay says mike and nate says it's his birthday so happy birthday to you devlin says it's 120 to 130 dollars on the juan soto on ebay very very nice so i said i'd put that other stack aside for omg if you wanted to buy that one we'll see if we're going to do that um check my paper otherwise we're going straight into our last case of the night and that's going to be prism draft picks and uh yep omg we're going to finish it off with his stack i see that that payment came through slide that over there heather omg you got two autographs in there so uh what happened is omg bought the left hand side of the box didn't hit so i wanted to save those um to make sure that if he did want to do that he could so this last select box i'm going to keep for a a Saturday showdown because so I like all the numbered cards. Two autographs. Let's hope you get something nice in there, just like the Soto. It'd be crazy if you could pull another one like the Griffey. OMG says, Let's rock and roll. Thanks, Jabs. Thank you very much. We're here. We go. Best card out of the case tonight was the Griffey Jr. out of 25. Game used jersey relic autograph worth about $700. Let's hope we can get something close to that out of this, or just uh, some big name autos. There's Daddy Daughter Car Breaks with the channel for OMG. If you'd like to check out OMG, he's got the link for you right there. All right, OMG, let's see if you can make me scream your channel name. OMG Card Pools, let's see what we got. We have Cody Bellinger, nice prism right there, not numbered. This is Mookie Betts, Cattell Marte, Keston Hira, Tony Gonsolin, uh, Ramon Laureano. Jacob says, do you have to pay to become a member of Patreon? It's a subscription site, so it's $3 a month, $0.10 cents a day. To answer your question, yes, gives you access to the breaks. Keston Hira, so no autographs yet, and we're only about, I don't know, 12 cards left or so. Hira out of 149. Max Kepler, Seeger, Brad Keller. Here we go. It's a Brewstar Gratterall out of 99, young um, flamethrower 30 of 99 nice one right there get that one toppled up will smith jt real muto lordes guriel vice what what heather heather there's only one autograph in there 
What the heck? OMG. I'm saying OMG for the wrong reasons. I wanted to say OMG for a good reason. And they shorted us an autograph. So OMG. We're going to take care of you, man. Um, I gave OMG the opportunity to buy the right-hand side of the case of, of this, the box. And it got um, gypped there. Uh, luckily, Chip recovered there. So let's um, give him a... Um, um, give him a serial number, Heather. Cut that out. And um, we're going to take care of OMG and also Chip because they both got gypped. And I feel really bad for that. We'll show you what we're going to do for you guys. We're doing Prism Draft Picks right now. So I'm going to pull out the first box of Prism Draft Picks. And these are by the box. OMG <laughs> is like a, gives me a what the heck face. Heather's cutting your uh, your um, thing right now. All right, so here's what we got going on right now. We're doing Prism Draft Picks. There are five autographs per box. Of course, they say on average. And there's eight cards per pack, five packs per box. These boxes sell for $200 uh, before tax. They're probably about $212, I don't know, something like that. Maybe $220 after taxes and shipping. You can get, buy these off of blowout cards. They're very, very hot right now because of Jason Dominguez has an autograph in there along with this guy, Adley Rushman, and other top uh, prospects. Donovan actually paid in during our last break of this, um, like May 3rd or something like that. But um, he paid after the break had started. And so I told him he'd get the next pack when we do it again. And here we are again doing it. So, Donovan, I sent you an email letting you know. Uh... Deca Decathologist says these boxes are expensive. Yeah, these ones are expensive for sure. All right, so we're just going to take out these packs. They're all um, cockeyed in there. Donovan, here we go. One autograph per pack. All right, so here we go. Adley Rushman leads things off. This is our last case of the night. Will Wilson. Braden Shoemake, Trajan Fletcher. Your autograph is going to be Andrew Vaughn. Pretty nice one. White Sox prospect there out of 75. Andrew Vaughn. Congratulations on that one. Zach Thompson and Kyle Stowers. To so Donovan, hope it was worth the wait to get a top prospect out of there. Um, congratulations on that. How many boxes are in the case? Well, I can take a look here at the side. There are 16 boxes in the case, it looks like. Yep. 16 boxes. Had to look at the little side panel there. Next up is Justin has the second pack coming out of the box. Let's see what we can find for you. Brand new case. The other case had a one Dominguez auto in it. Maybe this one will have one somewhere. We have Logan Wyatt and an Adley Rushman. This one is going to be not numbered. Anthony Volpe out of 30. Check out the back. There you go. Anthony Volpe is your auto. Grayson says, hi, Jabs. Received my Patreon package today. Also came with a baseball. I think that might be an unannounced perk that I give to some members. Uh, I have 6,000 baseballs downstairs that I caught at baseball games. And some, um, some members get random MLB baseballs with their package as I move to offload some of those and give myself some more space. Bobby Witt Jr. and Hunter Bishop. So Justin gets the Anthony Volpe is the autograph. Next up, here we go. Speaking of um, Grayson, who just got his Patreon package, he's up right now. The third pack out of the box. Let's see what we can find for you. Got a Reese Hines on the back. There's Andrew Vaughn from the White Sox again. Logan White, a Will Wilson All Americans card. Shea Langoliers. These uh, nice prism red. Another Andrew Vaughn. It's going to be a prism um, orange. A Trajan Fletcher out of 99. He was a number one pick. Trajan Fletcher. Nice auto that on that one. Tyler Callahan and Reese Hines. A decathologist says, I just love this set. Yeah, some people. Uh, definitely love Prism for sure with all the color and all the different parallel sets that you can find. It's a, it's a fun rip, but I can't wait for um, Prism to come out with their MLB set. That's another one of my favorite Panini products. Jeffrey's up right now. Best of luck to you, Jeffrey. Let's see what we can grab out of your pack here. Nate says, hey, Jabs, I pulled a Matt Chapman Stadium Dirt autograph card. Very nice. Congrats on that one. We have Greg Jones leading things off. Let's see if we can find that Dominguez again. 
Another Greg Jones. That's a blue. Andrew Vaughn yet again. John Dux Doxakis, who I mispronounce his name every time I see it. Green Auto is your hit. Ryan Garcia and Logan Davidson as well. Gavin says, I paid for another half box of select. Could I get a stack of that last box I didn't open? Gavin, I'll just refund you that money because that last box I wanted to keep for myself. Um, I'll hit that refund button after the break and give that money back to you. And um, I feel bad about it. So if you'd like to uh, get a spot in our Saturday showdown, which is what I'm going to use that for, I can give you a spot in that um, or give you access to that first, first of the line privilege. Sean's up right now. Let's see what we can find for you. Davis Wenzel is up first, then Matt Walner. Let's see. The hit is going to be, it's, oh, Panini points. Adley Rushman and Bryson Stott. Dang it. Panini points for Sean. And, um, Sean, I inadvertently showed your friggin' Panini points. And there's... So there's 500 people watching. So the chances are there's going to be a criminal out there that steals your points. So, Sean, since I screwed up, I'm going to take the hit, and I'm going to comp you pack number 48 and give you an extra pack because that's uh, – I hate that. There's a code right there, Sean. Extra pack coming your way, buddy. People hate Panini points, and I hate them too. And um, I just screwed up. So you have pack number 48 coming your way, man, which is the last um, – next one up after this. So I do apologize ever inadvertently showing your crappy panini points. I hate I hate panini points so bad. It's so dumb. You got an extra packs because someone just stole your points and got an autograph from that. All right, Camille, you're up next. You have number six, pack number six for Camille. These packs are in there nice and sweetly. Let's see what we can find for Camille. These are $40 a pack, guys. These are really hot right now because of the Dominguez. Jason Rutledge, Corey Lee, and then we have a George Kirby. Dominic Fletcher is the hit right there. Check out the front from the University of Arkansas. People hate points, and I also hate them. Um, I think it, you, you might need, like, to get something good, I feel like you need, like, a 1,000 points or something like that anyway. Camille, thank you very much for participating. And then Shane's got 7 and 8 and 9. So Shane's got the next three packs out of the box. 1, 2, and 3. Best of luck to you, Shane. 7, 8, and 9. Let's see what we can find for you. Start with your first pack. Anthony Volpe, there's Aaron Schunk, Greg Jones, Red Prism, Will Wilson. And look at that again. It's Panini Points. No, it's not Panini Points. It is a Bayron Laura, and it's an autograph, red, white, and blue. Very nice. I saw the back of the card, and I thought we were doomed for some more Panini Points. So congratulations on your hit there. You just a little code there. You scratch off, type that in, and get that card sent out to you. So congrats on that one. The point, you go to Panini's website, and you can redeem them for autographs and other Panini products. Um, I personally hate it, but um, that's maybe just me. Logan Wyatt, Bobby Witt Jr. Crusade card is a nice one. And you have an Alec Manoa out of 99 as your autograph. Check that one out. Very nice. Quinn Priester from the Buccos and Bobby Witt Jr. again, All Americans card. Yeah, they all say that, Calvin. They whoever is in charge of the points didn't change it from basketball to baseball. It's always been like that with this uh, release. Uh, TJ Sikama, Ethan Small. This is your last pack here. Brett Beatty, nice prospect for the Mets. Reese Hines, and you have Max Meyer is going to be your hit. Max Meyer. Matt Walner and Brady McConnell is the last one there for Shane. So, Shane, thank you very much. Congrats on the autos and the redemption. There's those for Shane. Next up is Brad. He's got the last pack out of this particular box. Take this and throw it in the trash. All right, let's see. 
Well, still looking for Dominguez. We still have 38 packs to find on Adley Rushman. CJ Abrams. We have a very nice looking Andrew Vaughn card. I'm numbered out of 25, 18 of 25. We have Tyler Callahan, which is going to be your hit. Nice auto there. Riley Green and Josh Wolf is the last one for Brad. All right, so next up, got a brand new box coming up for you guys, and it's going to be Benjamin and Benjamin. So Benjamin, I um, almost went to select one. You have the first two packs, actually. The whole box runs about $200 per box, which is um, a lot more than just two packs worth. All right, let's see if we can find the Dominguez in here. What am I ripping some more 2020 Bowman? I'm kind of waiting and seeing if I can get the cases to go down under like five grand for the jumbos. It's crazy how much they cost. And um, I've got my eyes set on some other stuff. There's so many, so many new things coming out right now that I'm... Um, I think the next Bowman thing I'm going to do is I'll do a Mega Box. I'll probably have to pay $100 for it. And Benjamin, you have these two packs, by the way. Let's get them on the screen for you. Titus, the giveaway comes up after we're done with uh, Prism, which uh, we have 48 packs to do, so... Oh, I don't know. Maybe it takes a minute a pack. Maybe about a half an hour or so. Thank you, Sports Tech. I appreciate that. Will Wilson, Matt Walner. Here we go. We have a nice Braden Shoemake refractor out of 18. Matt Walner is going to be your hit. And that one's also numbered out of 10. Very nice auto there from Matt Walner out of 10 yellow. Riley Green and Josh Wolf. How do you get in on the giveaway? It's quite simple. You just have to be subscribed to the channel and you have to leave a comment in uh, the Electric City box video. We're, we're just going to pick a random comment and then verify that you are subscribed. Benjamin, here's your second pack. Uh, Josiah, thanks for joining, man. Go back and watch the third box of the break. Jordis Valdez is the second hit of 2017 Bowman High Tech. Check that bad boy out. Pretty amazing. Uh, Luis says, I have eight Bowman Blasters for you, Jabs. If anyone can find Mega Boxes, uh, if you guys want to do a deal with um, with me like I did with Raymond, Raymond sent me Mega Boxes for the cost that he paid for them for, uh, which was $20 a piece and the value packs. And then I paid him extra for the shipping. And then I gave him a nice shout out on the channel, him and his son. If anybody has the luck to, I don't know, maybe you come across 10 mega boxes and you want to buy one for the channel that I can open because I don't think I'm going to be able to find one. I hope I can, but um, if you do come across one for me to open on the channel, um, please um, give me an email or send me an email and uh, we'll work something out through PayPal. They come out on June 5th which is Friday. Now, that's only if your target stocks on Fridays will you see them. There's a Brayden Shoemake. That one is a nice green prism. There's an Adley Rushman and Dre Jamison. Adley Rushman Crusade is out of 75. Dre Jamison is your hit. Nice kind of snakeskin type design on the side there. Bobby Witt Jr. and Hunter Bishop is the last one. Cam says, oh, I work at Target and I work Friday. Okay, now, I hope your target stocks on Friday because... It differs from location to location. Some stock on Wednesdays, some stock on Mondays, some stock on Fridays. I guess it all depends on the route that the independent um, stalker that comes around puts them out there. There's Daddy Daughter with the link for the giveaway video. If you'd like to get in on that, leave a comment there. Cam says, we stock early at like 9 a.m. on Friday. Okay, so keep an eye out for that and maybe grab a couple of those boxes. I would very much appreciate that. Give you a shout out, shout out your channel, shout out your Instagram page or Twitter, whatever you want as a thank you. Anthony Volpe, Zach Watson, Andrew Vaughn, and of course I'll pay for the box and the shipping. Andrew Vaughn, red. Uh, Matthew Thompson, we have Alec Marsh. This one is a nice auto right there. Tyler Callahan and Reese Hines. So Alec Marsh is the auto for Robert. Robert, thank you very much. David's got the last one out of this particular box. Let's see what we can find for you. Pack number five for David. Not click uh, bait says with a budget of four hundred dollars. What hobby boxes would I recommend? <clears throat> well, I don't know. You could maybe buy a couple boxes of Inception, maybe like three boxes of Tops Inception for that. I've wanted to get back and do those again. 
And I would say just watch all the different breaks and find something that you kind of like have an eye for that you really like and then see what it goes for and check it out. There's a CJ Abrams out of 99. So a nice CJ Abrams hit. Ryan Garcia and Logan Davidson for David. Uh, Nate asked for my address. My uh, post office is P.O. Box 402, Pleasant Unity, PA, 15676. William's up right now. You got the first pack out of our next box of 2019 Bowman Draft Picks. Not Bowman Draft Picks. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. That might be this Sunday. 2019 Panini Prism Draft Picks. All right, let's see what we can find. Volpe. Okay, I got it. The pronunciation of these draft pick guys, I am terrible at, unfortunately, because I haven't seen them play in the bigs yet, and that's usually how um, I get to know about them. There's a Bobby Witt Jr. Prism card. Not numbered. Still a nice-looking card, though. Reese Hines. The hit is going to be a Trajan Fletcher out of 99. That's our second Trajan Fletcher autograph. Ryan Garcia and Logan Davidson. So, William, thank you very much. Congrats on the Fletcher Auto. Still looking for our first Dominguez Auto from this particular case. Next pack is for Matt. Can you get me Trout in this? No, Trout is not in this set. This is these are draft picks from last year. J.J. Bleday, the Marlins' number one pick. Adley Rushman, number one overall pick. We've got Brennan Malone and a sheepskin Josh Jung, number one pick for the Texas Rangers. And there he is, Anthony Volpe for... <laughs> Uh, whoever it is, it just corrected me. It's a low number out of 10. Very, very nice. I forget who that was, but I saw uh, Kenneth says, Volpe. Hi, Eric. Glad. Uh, good to see you live. Uh, played with his uh, dad, I guess, his granddad, Kenneth Anthony Volpe. Just pulled him out of 10. Very nice low numbered hit right there. Kaboom says everything. Matt, congrats on that one. <clears throat> that is a good one for sure. And now Larry is up. Lawrence, box number 18. He's actually got two of these, one and two. There's one other pack that slid off to the side, hiding out there for Cynthia. Mitchell says that gold is beautiful. Oh, boy. Panini points coming your way, which is a bummer. I'm not going to show it so you can get whatever autograph you want, Larry. Sorry about that. I know Larry did have a... Um, Jason Dominguez, $100, uh, not Relic, but um, Refractor, which was very nice. And your hit is going to be, as a Davis Wenzel, a Josh Wolf autograph there. Josh Wolf, Adley Rushman, and Bryson Stott. If you're wondering how many points you got, Larry, it is a grand total of 150 points. Just to show you that info. So, Larry, thank you very much. I hate Panini points. I guess you can go to their website and check it out and see if there's anything good out there that they have up. Last pack of the box is going to Cynthia, spot number 20. So we've got Riley Green. Do I think that Dominguez is overrated? Heck yeah, they're comparing him to Mike Trout already. He's 17 years old. Give him, a, give him a break. Andrew Vaughn autograph, number one pick from the White Sox. Our second one of him is a nice one. Bobby Witt and Hunter Bishop. So, Cynthia, that's a good auto right there. I believe that Vaughn was the number three overall pick in the nation last year, which is a good one. For sure, a high number pick like that. Got a brand new box coming up of draft picks from Prism. Chip says, people are paying crazy money for Dominguez. If I was spending that kind of money for that guy, I'd just buy like a 1950s Mickey Mantle. It's a good point. Um, at least you know that your investment will never really go down in value as Mantle cards will always retain their value. Uh, he's no chance of him being a bust. All right, so, Jeffrey, let's see what we can find for you in your pack. Spot number 21. Adley Rushman leads things off. Brendan Malone, Zach Watson, Brett Beatty from the Mets, Josh Jung from the Rangers, and Cameron Meisner, or Misner, I'm guessing it's Meisner, autograph. From the University of Missouri, nice auto there. C.J. Abrams and Corbin Carroll is the last one. Jeffrey, thank you very much. Get those passed off to Heather. <clears throat> and now Jeremy's up. And Jeremy, I think um, I saw this a little bit late. Um, I opened up the room a little bit early for you guys if you would like to come on in and chat a little bit before the break. And I think I saw you with a $2 Super Chat donation. I wanted to thank you for that. I was not in the room yet as I was 
running around trying to get prepared for the break and making these name cards and uh, getting organized and stuff. So, uh, Jeremy, best of luck to you. We've got Matthew Thompson, Zach Thompson. Then we have a nice-looking prism of Riley Green. It's out of 49. We got Aaron Schunk out of 99. Would I sell or keep Dominguez cards? If I pulled a Dominguez auto or Domingo, Dominguez card in general, I'm probably going to sell it. Um, I don't know. Especially like a Dominguez auto, some of those autos are going for thousands of dollars. Why would you not sell it? I'd sell it and buy a like a graded 56 tops mantle card or something like that. Brady's up next. Brady has 23 and 24. Best of luck to you. Let's see what we can find. Baseball Car Breaks is great. Break road to 45 subscribers. Thank you, Baseball Car Breaks. I hope you guys will check out Baseball Car Breaks and give them some support. There's JJ Goss. That one's out of five. Nice, nice low numbered. Almost looks like a Super Fractor right there. It's got the Super Fractor feel. And there's Daddy Daughter with Baseball Card Breaks. If you'd like to check him out. That, that's a beautiful looking card. It's out of five. Has the Super Fractor look to it. Quinn Priester and Bobby Witt. So, Brady, congrats on that nice one right there. I wish it was a one of one. That's what Top Super Fractor looks like. Almost looks 3D, says Bud. Josh Jung leads things off the next pack. We got Michael Bush. There's a Bobby Witt Jr. and Alec Marsh out of 25. So, both of your autos are low numbered, which is nice. Matt Walner and Brady McConnell is the last one for Brady. Champagne Swirls, says KM. Nice cards there. James is up next. Best of luck to you, James, in spot number 25. Mitchell says, I thought the gold lining was beautiful. All that gold is incredible. Yeah, it looks really nice. I like that design a lot. All right, James. You've got um, Corbin Carroll, Josh Jung, and Josh Jung, number one pick for the Texas Rangers out of 99. Very nice hit right there. I think he was the eighth overall pick in the nation. Nice hit for James. Congrats on the Josh Jung. A lot of people are high on him. Nice auto right there. Numbered out of 99. It looks like it's 68 of 99. So we move on now to our next box from Prism Draft Picks. And we're back to Bill. Bill's got number 26, pack number 26. So best of luck to you, Bill. He's also got pack number 27 as well. I have 48 packs to do, uh, Will, for those of you that are asking. And then I know that a lot of you keep um, asking about the giveaway. That's always at the end of the break. So don't worry. It's coming up very, very soon. Jeremy Frizzle says, thanks, Eric. Jeremy, you are welcome. Thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate it. Uh, Jake, I... We'll have uh, maybe two more packs that I would be willing to do at the uh, end there. Packs 49 and 50, for sure. You can send over the payment. Just make sure you put Panini Prism Draft Pick in the uh, the um, note. So, just for my records. All right, so, Bill, your hit is going to be... Hey, how about that? Bill with Bobby Witt Jr. out of 75. Very, very nice. All right, so now we need the eBay sleuths to get on it. Bobby Witt Jr., one of the top autos in this set. The number two overall pick last year. Bobby Witt Jr., numbered out of 75. 13 of 75. Bobby Witt Jr., love that card. Congratulations on that one. Probably, uh, arguably, one of the uh, hotter... Pulls you can find in this. Obviously, everyone's chasing Dominguez, but um, don't forget about Bobby Witt Jr. A big hit right there for Bill. Joker's Tribe says that's an $80 card. Another Bobby Witt. And we have a Logan Davidson out of 75 Very nice. Another Bobby Witt. So Bill just getting Bobby Witts left and right. Love that card. Bobby Witt Jr. is going to be a big name. Tons of power from him. Number one pick of the Kansas City Royals last year. TPS, no, you're not. I just saw your break right there. Welcome to the live stream. Ernest is up right now. Spot number 28. KM says that's an $80 to $100 card. Ernest, let's see if we can find for you. Josh Jung, Andrew Vaughn again. Brett Beatty, Davis Wenzel, and we have Trajan Fletcher out of 30. So low number Trajan Fletcher. Nice one right there. Kind of an aqua blue. Brady McConnell and Daniel Espino. For Ernest, Trajan Fletcher, nice auto right there. 
Jeremy's up next from, I believe this is Jeremy from Steel's Cards. So if you guys like Steel's Cards, I know some of you check out his channel. He's up right now rooting for him. Let's see what we can find for you. Uh, what days do I go live? I love this, says Mitchell. Every Wednesday and Sunday, and sometimes Thursday, we'll also be live tomorrow doing Tops of Lineage, which is all sold out. I have one case of that. Uh, so it won't be a long live stream, uh, but it'll probably be about an hour, maybe. Ethan Small, we have a Ryan Garcia out of 10. A nice low-numbered Ryan Garcia out of 10. Michael Toglia and Riley Green. The Tomorrow, it has um, some nice chase cards. 1952 Tops Design Autograph Checklist. Uh, uh, looking for some of those. Should be pretty fun. Staso and Company is up next. That's Stephen Belcher, who super chatted us early. Stephen, I really appreciate your support. Best of luck to you. And spot number 30. Will there be another giveaway to enter on tomorrow's video, Asters Young? Um, not right now. I mean, I do have... Um, I will try to do as many giveaways as I can for you guys right now, though we have um, some Panini points coming up. It's going to be two, 150 points for Steven, Josh Wolf, and Zach Thompson. So, unfortunately, I hate those Panini points. Uh, get on there, and I guess they let you pick an autograph of somebody you want or a Panini product. Steven, thank you very much, and sorry about that. Hopefully you can find something you like on their website. Jake is up right now. Jake has spot 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. So Jake's taking the whole box. Five packs. Best of luck to you, Jake. Going all in. Young, that's no problem. Yeah, I've, I'd like to try to do like a giveaway a week. Whenever people send me subscription boxes... The stipulation for me to review your box is that it not be crappy. And, um, you know, like, by that, like, I'm not going to review a box of, like, I don't know, like a bunch of crap packs that, I, that I don't, that's not interesting. They're charging, like, 80 bucks for it. So the product itself has to be good. I'm not saying I want them to juice their box or anything because I want them to just send me, like, one of their random boxes that they have. And um, the stipulation is I'm, I'm not paying for it because I, I give you the exposure and then I just give away the cards to you guys. That's how all the Boombox uh, videos that I do, that's why we give those away. I just open it up. They send it to me for free. I open it up and then give it away to you guys. That's how I do all those subscription boxes. Makes a nice little giveaway. There's Bryson Stott. Nice player right there. This is his first pack for Jake. There's Daddy Daughter with the link for Steel Sports Cards. It says, thanks, Jabs. Steel Sports Cards, thank you very much. I really appreciate the support. I hope you guys will check out Steel Sports Cards right there. Daddy Daughter's got the link for you. So, so we have a Cameron Meisner as the first hit there for Jake, Bobby Witt Jr. Next up, we have a Nick Lodolo from the Reds. Alec... Manoa, Josh Wolf, and it's Yordi's Valdez out of 75. Check that one out. Titus says, I'll stay up as late as possible. You won't have to stay up too much later. We're, we're on pack 35 coming up, and I have 48 of these. So we're almost at the giveaway for those of you that are here for that. Adley Rushman, Matt Walner, Corbin Carroll. We have a Josh Wolf. Nice looking card right there. Prism, and uh, that, by the way, is out of 99. Dre Jamison is the autograph. And Reese Hines and Ryan Garcia right there. So, two more packs. Jake with his fingers crossed, hoping for a Dominguez. Or an Adley out of 10 on pack 39, says Mitchell. That would be pretty crazy. We did pull an Adley Rushman that went to uh, Bobby Bleeds Blue. And the last time that we did this, there's Isaiah Campbell. That's the hit number four. Dave says, I got to get back to work. Thanks for being here, man. There's Adley Rushman. Last pack from the box. Here we go. Let's see if we can find Adley or Bobby Witt Jr. again. Dominguez would be nice. Andrew Vaughn already pulled a few of his autos. We'll see. It is going to be. There's a nice looking Nick Lodolo. And you have Josh Jung. That's out of 25 on the Lodolo. Josh Jung, number one pick. For the Texas Rangers, nice auto right there. And it is not numbered, but it's one of those snakeskin bordered cards. Bryson Stott and C.J. Abrams is the last one for Jake. Jake, thank you very much. Devlin says that Lodolo is awesome. How much is it a spot? Ask him. It's $40 per pack. 
these boxes cost $200 before uh, tax and shipping from all of the websites out there like Blowout Cards and Steel City. They're quite expensive because of the Jason Dominguez mania. And also the chase after guys like Rushman and Bobby Witt Jr. Matthew's up right now. Let's see what he can find for you. And Jeff says, Panini makes some nice cards. Yes, they do, for sure. They're definitely... Uh, if only they could have that the um, logos back. Kid Collector says, well, let me super chat. Sorry about that. Uh, sometimes you have to switch devices to get it to work because YouTube can be a little temperamental. All right, Matthew, let's see if we can find spot number 36. Let's see Rushman on the back. And here we go. Bobby Witt Jr. is in there. Josh Wolf, And your hit's going to be J.J. Blade out of 10. That's a nice one right there. Blade, number one pick for the Marlins. And it's a low numbered out of 10. Nice autoed card for sure in your first pack. Second pack for you, Matthew. Let's see what we can pull for you. Braden Shoemake there. Anthony Volpe again. And Andrew Vaughn. Nice prism card. Your other hit's going to be a Cody Hose. Nice one out of 75. J.J. Blade and Braden Shoemake. Uh, Mitchell says that gold is so awesome. Keep pulling them, Jabs. I'll try. We'll do our best here to pull as many top autos as we can out of our last 10 packs or so. As we wind down here, then we'll do the giveaway, and then we'll say goodbye. Dyke said, you want to say persnickety just then? Yeah, I'm probably going to... All these words are going to be working their way into my vernacular here. I'm going to be talking like I'm 90 years old. Hunter Bishop for Brian leads things off. Your autograph is going to be a Kyron Paris. Let's check this one out. Kyron Paris is the hit. Shea Langoliers and Corey Lee is the last card for Brian. So now it takes us to spot number 39 with Andrew. And he's actually got 39 and 40. So that's the last two packs out of this box. Looks like we only have two more of these boxes left. And then we will... Do that giveaway for the high voltage box from Electric City. Langoliers, there's Riley Green. The hit's going to be a Kendall Williams out of 30. Nice Kendall Williams hit right there. You take a look at that. Brett Beatty from the Mets and CJ Abrams. I've not seen that, Ike. I don't really watch. Is that a movie? I don't watch too many movies. And our next pack for Andrew, we've got Andrew Vaughn from the White Sox. The hit is going to be, there's another nice J.J. Blood Day. It's Josh Wolf, and it's out of 30, 15 of 30. There's the front of it. Nice aqua border right there. Corbin Carroll and Kendall Williams is the last one for Andrew. So, Andrew, thank you very much. So, we have about eight packs left. I'll go and see if anybody paid their invoices for their prison packs because it um, happens from time to time that people request invoices and then they forget about it. And they sit there, and eventually I just cancel them out. Chris has the first two packs out of this one. Mitchell says, I love the color in the set. What do you think, Jabs? I also like the color in Prism. There's people out there that collect those color, and they try to complete the whole rainbow of a certain player, so to speak. All the different colors. It just does make a nice, colorful display. Like, if you like Rushman, you would want, probably want to get all of his colored Prism cards. All right, Chris, let's see what we can do for you. Pack number 41, and then we have lucky number 42, Jackie Robinson, Mariana Rivera coming up next. Your pack, the hit is going to be a Matthew Lugo. J.J. Goss is going to be numbered out of 75. Matthew Lugo, there's the front of the card. That one is not numbered. Nice present, Bryson Stott and Cameron Meisner. Pack number two for Chris. Forty-two. Usually a lucky number in baseball, at least. Bobby Witt Jr., not numbered. Nice prism card. Ali Rushman. C.J. Abrams. And Zach Thompson out of 30 is your hit. There's the front of the card. Zach Thompson out of 30 is the auto. Ethan Small and Riley Green. So, Chris, thank you very much. We're now on pack number 43. And we're getting to the giveaway, which some of you have been asking about so frequently throughout the night. Brian... 43. Next pack out of the box. Here we go. Devlin says, man, these are some clean autos. Yeah, they're definitely very nice. I like the autos. Hunter Bishop leads things off. Bryson Stott, Adley Rushman. We have Josh Jung from Texas. 
And Fidel Montero is going to be the hit. The Jung, by the way, is out of 99. 50 of 99. It is 13 of 99. Tommy's Breaks, thank you very much. Says, good evening, Jabs and friends. Hope you're all well. Tommy's Breaks, I really appreciate that. I hope you guys can check his channel out. And hopefully you're having a great Wednesday as well, Tommy. I appreciate the support. We get Brian's stuff sleeved up here. It passed off. Then there's Daddy Daughter with Tommy's Breaks channel. If you'd like to check out Tommy's Breaks, Daddy Daughter's got the link right there. Chris is up right now. Chris has the last two packs out of this box. And he also has the next pack out of the next box. So uh, we'll just do these two packs first. And we're almost ready to do the giveaway and say good night and good evening for this break. Oh, boy. Well, it looks like we have points maybe. Nope, it's not points. It's a redemption. Let's flip it over and show you. You have yourself a Braden Shoemake. Nice prospect right there. Braden Shoemake green. It's not basketball. Green Prism Auto Braden Shoemake. Just scratch that bad boy off. Type in that code there and get your Shoemake sent your way. So congrats on that one, Chip. Next pack up, we have an Andrew Vaughn. And what else do we have? Braden Williamson, Brennan Malone, J.J. Blade, And we also have a Keone Cavaco out of 10, 4 of 10. Nassim Nunez is your hit. Matthew Thompson and Aaron Schunk. And you have one more coming up as well. Let's grab that next box for you. Looks like it might be the last box of the evening. What advice would you give for someone starting to collect baseball cards? I would say just um, find something that you're willing to kind of like go all into. Like I would say maybe try something. Like if you're going to collect, try to complete a set of something. That would be a cool thing to do. Um, that's kind of how I got into it. I really started to want, like I first started by wanting to get Pirates team sets. That might be an easy one. Just complete a team set of your favorite team. Uh, there's a nice Gunnar Henderson is your other hit. Quinn Priester and Bobby Witt Jr. So, Chip, thank you very much. Let's get these passed off to Super Heather. And Ryan is up right now, spot number 47. Let's see what we can find for you. Eric S. just became a channel member. Welcome, Eric. Thank you very much for the support. I really appreciate that. There's Josh Jung, Adley Rushman, Gunnar Henderson, Cody Hose, Trajan Fletcher, and we got him! Jason Dominguez in the next to last pack of the night. You got the Dominguez Green Auto. There it is. Ryan McD with the hit. A lot of people were sticking around watching prism draft picks hoping we'd find the dominguez auto and we did heather i'm gonna need a one touch for this never mind i have some one touches right next to me very nice congrats on that one devlin says holy mackerel let me know what this dominguez card goes for green for ryan mcd it seems to be there's maybe one of these per case or so uh very very nice that's the second one that we've pulled from prism draft picks how do you become a member of the channel? You have to click the join button. If you go to my YouTube, like, uh, I don't know, like homepage or whatever, there's a button there that says join, and uh, you click that. And um, wow, very, very nice. Congratulations on that one. Let's one touch this as we have our eBay Super Salute out there looking it up right now, telling us what it goes for. Riley Boy says, you yell like you hit the lottery, childish. Well, Riley, I'm going to tell you, why don't you go to some other channel and watch them. Uh, if you like monotone breakers, you can probably maybe find one of those. Um, thanks for hanging out here, though. Very nice Jason Dominguez card. The card that I've been looking for out of 47 packs finally hit it. Uh, Dell says, couple grand right there. We're getting it one touch for you, Ryan. Big hit for sure. All right, so this is what your Dominguez looks like. I'm trying to get the sleeve perfectly centered for you because um, I always put any kind of cards with a chrome finish. I like to sleeve, like put a little penny sleeve on top to prevent scratching. There we go. That's pretty centered, that sleeve in there. You can see the sleeve protecting the card. 
Very, very nice. Jason Dominguez. Uh, random card rips with Ryan M. There he is. Says, thanks, Jabs. I'm going to be in shock for a while. R Will says that's about a $320 card. Very, very nice. I don't think you care about these two, but you're getting them anyway, Ryan. Ryan is a lucky man for sure. All right, so there's the Dominguez we were after, and now we have Sean, who I'm comping a pack because um, he got a Panini points, and I accidentally showed the code <coughs> like an idiot. I was just sorting through, and the code was there, and so somebody obviously stole that. I'll send you the code, too, so you can talk to Panini, and you can track down whoever stole your code, and um, maybe we can get them banned from Panini, or you can like say, hey, they stole my code. Adley Rushman, that one is out of 99. There's Ryan Jensen, that's going to be Sean's comp hit. Congratulations on that. Michael Toglia and Daniel Espino as well for Sean. Can I see my computer, please, Heather? It's about time for a giveaway, right? I think some folks have been wanting to get this Electric City uh, high-voltage breaker box, um, or at least try to get it. So all you have to do is be a subscriber for that. I'm just going through and canceling. I had some folks not pay their um, invoices. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out those requests right now. And I do see that um, Curtis paid his spot. So Curtis, you have a pack coming your way as well. So we got one more. We got, I just wanted to double check. I think I canceled everyone else's out. Uh, but Curtis, late to the party here, but not too late. Uh, spot number, what is this, Heather? 49, Curtis, M-E-N. So, Curtis, we'll do this pack, then we'll do the giveaway. All right, so. Uh, we got Brennan Malone. Shay Langoliers, Will Wilson, Andrew Vaughn. We have Reed Detmers out of 25 is going to be your hit, Curtis. I like the design on the card. Nice looking card out of 25. Take a look at all that action going on right there. Riley Green and Josh Wolf. So now it's time for a giveaway. We're going to give away the uh, Breaker City high voltage box. We'll save this last pack. Someone said save it for a giveaway. Um, maybe. We'll do something with that pack for sure. Uh, Bud Sonny says, some nice hits tonight. Love the enthusiasm and yelling when you get those pulls. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. I really appreciate the kind words. Now it's time to let's give away that Breaker City box. And, uh, let's do a little work here with this. All right, so, um, let me find. I had it all ready to go. Where did that go, Heather? Did you accidentally... Close out my tab, Heather. Heather, I had it all ready to go, and I I think... <laughs> all right, what was that, Sonny? We'll just do it again. Pick a winner. I'm going to have to go and get the link back in there. It'll only take me a second. No big deal. Get a shareable link. Drop it into this. All right, so here we go. The winner of the Breaker City box, this is what I'm using. The let's let's hit the lights, Heather. Because we get a weird we get a weird glow. Can you still see it all? We get a weird like reflection from the lights. So the winner is going to be. Uh okay, so I need to take out the replies. Duplicates, no. Here we go. The winner of the Breaker City box. Is go there's a lot of you that were interested in getting all those cards. It's a pretty nice hundred dollar box. Over a thousand people, one thousand two hundred ninety eight unique commenters, and um, we are going to check you out. And uh, we're going to pull various winners here, and then we are going to see if you are indeed subscribed. So um, I guess we'll pull. How many winners should I pull, Heather? Five. It's always the fun part. This is why we do this last because the whole like verification process takes a little while. Uh, Henke Pop is up first. We're going to check your channel out here in a second. Henke Pop, you're our first um, contestant. We'll see if you're subscribed or not. Daddy Sasquatch says, Great hit tonight. If you can't get excited about those autos, it's time to find another hobby. Maybe bird watching. Dwayne, thank you very much. 
I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, some nice autos for sure. And um, if I sit here for like four hours and I finally find a card that I want or have been looking for, it's um, it's a huge um, success. So Hank, Hanky Pop, you're first. Iso Ganley, you're the second runner-up. We'll see if you're subscribed or not. I would love to win the giveaway. I've tried or ended a couple. I've never won. Well, now you're a runner-up. You may get it. You may not. Next up, number three is Chris Clifford. It says, great box. Would love to add the meta. There's Robert H. Robert H., thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys will check out Robert H., we mentioned him earlier. We needed your help on a San Diego Padres prospect from 2017 Bowman. High tech. Bowden Smith. Number two is Iso Gan Ganley. Bowden Smith is next. We're just going to pull five, then we're going to do a little research on you. Everyone can agree that 2015 Topps cards looks the best, says Bowden. And let's find a fifth. Mario... Leonardi. So now it's time to um, verify. So here we go. I'm going to do a little verification. So I guess we'll just go down at my keys here. Go into my YouTube page and uh, go and find their channels and verify. Um, since I'm going into my studio, hey, Heather, I'm in your account. I'm going to have that. That's not going to work. I'm going to have to sign you out, okay? Uh, sign out. I'm on Heather's account, so good thing I put it down or everyone would see your account and be like, hey, Heather, you do a great job getting some messages. People trying to hire you away from me. Come work for me and help me with my breaks. Uh, all right, let's... Um, how about we now just um, take the computer off the screen because I'm typing in my password. That would have been terrible, huh? If I would have typed in my password right in front of everybody, that wouldn't be good. So those of you wondering why we do this at the end of the break, it's because it takes a while to verify everybody. And um, it's some downtime, and I like to keep it action-packed, so to speak. All right, so I'm into my account. I'll just give you a play-by-play -play of what's going on. I go to YouTube Studio, and uh, YouTube Studio, from there I can go to my comments slash subscribers and check out all that stuff. So first up, we are looking for Hanky Pop. This is always the fun part, Hanky Pop. I have found your page. So here we go. This is um, going to be Hanky Pop. Let's check them out together, guys. Hanky Pop, here's your page. You have one subscriber. I'm going to help you out and uh, also subscribe to your page and make it another one. It looks like you're starting to maybe, um, maybe not. You have some content there, which is interesting. And you are not, I cannot tell if you are subscribed, unfortunately. So we can't verify that, that this is what takes a long time. Unfortunately, next up, back down to the keyboard. Let's go back to the next hanky pop. We are going to have to move on from you. Next up is Iso Gan Ganley. I think I said that right. We are, this is how I'm getting to your page, by the way. I'm looking up your comment, going to your page from there. And here we go. Iso Ganley is, he has the subscriptions wide open for us, which is nice. I'm going to subscribe to you and make it a nice even 20. And here we go. Subscriptions. Zach Campbell, you're subscribed to. Phil's Pools. And um, that's, that's all I'm seeing here. Heather says hit refresh and see if that helps. Hmm. So, Zach Campbell, we have like 12 subscriptions here, Heather, unfortunately. More will come up. Well, how do we get more to show then? Um, Heather, can you help me out here? Are these only, his only subscribers, people here subscribe to? I wonder if there's a page. There we go. 
All right. We're in business now. Thanks, Heather. You, I don't know what I would do without you. Joey Salads. Let's see if we can find me. I'm going to go to Control Find and just easily do it. Wow. I just typed in jabs in the Control F and it's not there. But we're going to keep letting some load because he's subscribed to a lot of people. So maybe he was an OG subscriber. Hey, there we go. We got him. Iso uh, Ganley, you are the winner. Congratulations on that one. So what I have to do now is um, go back to my comments page, and I'm going to send you a comment and give you directions on how to claim your prize. So Iso Ganley, congratulations on winning the Electric City Box. Let me make a little note for that. Iso Ganley, we're going to need your real name. Now, I don't know if that's your real name or not, or if that's just a screen name. Electric City. Thank you to everybody that participated. Again, you have to be subscribed. So if you haven't done that yet, you may think you're subscribed, but maybe not. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll do lots more giveaways for you guys. If you guys like this kind of stuff um, with the giveaways, especially the all the subscription boxes. I have another subscription box we'll be doing soon as well called the Bonus Box. We'll be live again tomorrow, everybody, around... Um, what time you want to go live tomorrow, Heather? Six o'clock tomorrow, around there. Doing a case of 2011 Tops Lineage. It's a really nice product. Uh, it is all sold out, spoken for. So I hope you can join us for that. It won't be a long live stream. Probably like no more than two hours, Heather. No more than two hours. There's only 10 boxes. And there's uh, three stacks per box. So it shouldn't be that bad. Two autographs per box. It'll be a fun break for sure. I hope you can join us for that. I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening and a great Wednesday. And I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for being here. And good night, everybody.